everyone. Good evening. Welcome to 9th and 10th channel of Baijus. I'm your teacher Ankita and I welcome you all in today's class where we will be looking at the very interesting chapter that is heredity in one shot. So I hope that all of you are ready for the class. Good evening everyone. Good evening. How are you all? Hello everyone. How are you all? And I hope that I'm clearly audible and visible to all of you. Everyone please let me know if everything is perfectly fine from our side. I welcome you all everyone. Good evening. Good evening Nana, Divyanshu, Ahmed, Comfy Studies, Lohita, Tisha, Nana, Sakshi, the Indian Cubo. Yes. Harshit, Harshini, Ankit, Priya, Soumya, Abhishek, Nikki, Pooja, Ankit, Manisha. Good evening everyone. How are you all? Right, the last time we started with this particular chapter there was a uh, lag so we ended that particular stream and now here we are. Let's keep our finger crossed everyone. We will be able to finish this chapter today, right? So I hope that all of you are excited. Yes, good evening team. Seven guy, good evening Pinku, Rupinda, Ayu, Babita, Rashi, Anushka, Vijay, Pragati, Dumpling, Kajal. Awesome, awesome everyone. So how was your vacation, the small vacation right that you had? I hope that you have enjoyed the festival and you are back again into your serious studies. Awesome, awesome everyone. So let's get started everyone. You know that this is a one shot video. It's a one shot video means that we will be finishing off the chapter in today's class. So please make sure you stay with me till the end. We will try our best to finish this class in two hours, right? See, I don't want you to be here right for along so we will try to finish our class in two hours let's that's what the aim is right uh, it's a very easy chapter though a little bit trickier chapter but we will be able to make it really very easy for all of us okay so even before we start the class i would request all of you to have your textbook open with you have your ncrt textbook right have a pencil or a pen and a notebook apart from that please have a water bottle with you so that you can sip water in between okay so get can we get started everyone? I want to have lots of emojis in the chat. Happy Children's Day to all. That's a very important thing. Yes, Happy Children's Day everyone. Yes, we are starting from the beginning only. We are, we are not starting from anywhere else. We are starting from the beginning. Good evening everyone. I can see the lots of emotions in the chat. One minute everyone. Yeah, so let's get started, right? Here everyone, let's get started. All the best to all of you. We are starting, of course, the chapter, but let me quickly tell you about the Baiju's app, everyone. You can download the Baiju's app where you will be able to revise also, right? So we have so many features over there. Why we are telling you? Because your exams are just around the corner. So everyone, we have the chapters. In the chapters, you will be able to see the summaries. You will be able to see the videos, right? Uh, of course, there are so many questions, practice questions that are there. So everyone, please download the app and go through this particular part really very easily for all of you. Yes, it will be easy for you to go through it. We have the revised chapters, right? Then, of course, we have so many important inform information. Yes. Okay, so let's get started, everyone. Yes, I know, I know, right? Evolution part is deleted, right? Evolution part is deleted from the chapter. That is the reason we have just had the heredity and not the heredity and the evolution. Okay? Shall you? Here we go, everyone. Hello, hello. Let's get started. Okay, everyone, full focus over here. I hope that everything is clear. I want full attention now in the class. Here we go. So here we have a boy, right? Over here we can see. Let's name it as Comfy Studies. Right? Here we have the comfy studies or anyone in the class, right? It, it could be any one of you. Yes. And he's asking that why does my brother has blue eyes when I have brown eyes? Yeah. It's very fair question, right? I'm sure you would have asked your parents also. Why my brother has a nose of your, uh, you know, nose which is very similar to the mom and why my hairs are very similar to my grandparents or to the father, right? We always ask such questions to our parents. Oh, do I look like more like my mom or more like my dad? And we have so many things, right? 
So, what do you think will be the answer for this particular question? Very good, Priya. Very good, all of you, everyone. So, the father says that the reason is the genes, right? Everything lies in the genes, everyone. So, let's talk about it. Now, I want you to go back to the cells. I'm sure all of you remember the cell chapter, right? Let's quickly recall everyone. So, we have discussed in our class 9 that cells are the basic structural and the functional unit of the life, right? They are the ones that are really very, very, very important. In class 9, we have discussed about the different cell organelles that are present inside the cells and their different role. In cells, we have a very important, important part, which is the nucleus, right? And nucleus contain the genetic information or we can say the genetic material right what is the genetic material over here that is dna right everyone yes what we have that is the dna now this dna is a highly coiled very long structure to make it compact right it has been packed in such a way that it can condensely fit in, inside the nucleus so this dna is wrapped onto the proteins. Can you see this? Yellow color balls, everyone. Right? What are these? These are the proteins. What are these? These are the proteins and we call these proteins as histones protein. These are the histone proteins. So the DNA will wrap on these proteins and will form the structure which looks like a bead on the string. This particular structure Right? I'm sure few of you might have a confusion. Ma'am, what is the difference between all of this? Right? So, everyone, please do pay attention. DNA is a single, right? It's a long thread like structure that we talk about, right? When it gets packed up, right? Or we can say when it wrapped onto the proteins to condense its structure, it forms the chromatin. It called as the chromatin. Now, this chromatin will further coil, right, during the cell division. And then we'll be able to see a structure which looks like this. And we call it as the chromosome. Everyone, are we clear? Clear, everyone? Are we clear? So, if the cell is dividing, we will be able to see a structure like this that we call it as chromosomes. If the cell division is not happening inside the cell, they will be in a thread-like form, which is in the form of chromatin, right? And if we unwind the chromatin, if you open the chromatin, we will be able to see presence of protein. And on the proteins, what we have? We have the DNA wrapped around itself. Now, we can say that DNA is a genetic material. Yes, everyone, DNA is a genetic material. Everyone, are you there with me? Very, very good. Very, very good, everyone. Thank you for sharing the information. Yes, yes, Rupinda, we, we do have, they do have the genetic information. Yes, I will be explaining about the chromatid, other things. Just give me a minute. Okay. So, everyone, over here, we can say that we have the chromosome, we have the chromatid, we have the DNA, right? And we have the DNA. Apart from the DNA, right, there's a very important term that we will be hearing again and again during our classes. And that is a word which is gene. What we have, we have the gene. Now, what is a gene? Every, anyone, anyone in the class, can you, can you tell me what is the gene? Okay, Ashwarya, noted your point. RNA will talk about it. Athar, Bhavishra, give me a minute, we'll talk about it. Pooja, Ali will discuss about it. Smriti, we have the sessions of two hours. Very good. The segment of the DNA, the small portion of the DNA, or the fragment of the DNA is called as the gene. Absolutely correct. Very good, everyone. Gene is a segment of the DNA which carries a particular trait. Absolutely correct. So, if I say, if I have this DNA, this part, if I say is giving the hair color, right, this will be giving, this will, we can call it as a gene for the hair color. Okay. So, gene, the official definition of the gene is that gene is a very specific segment of the DNA which of course have a sequence which control the expression of the characteristics in an organism, right? Like you and me. Our skin color, our eye color, our hair color, our height, nose shape, etc, etc. Everything that we have in our body as a characteristics is, are controlled by the genes. So on our DNA, we have various, various genes that are present, right? See, if we have to put it in this way, 
Just imagine if this is our DNA, we have genes. We have separate, separate genes for everything. Everyone, are we clear? Everyone, are we clear? Yes? Very good, very good. Now, it's a very interesting question Rupinder is asking. Ma'am, does the chromosomes are made up of DNA? What do you think? If, if this is the DNA, if I put it in a highly coiled structure, it will be forming the chromosome. So, can we say that chromosome is nothing, but when the DNA highly condensed form, right, during the cell division, we'll be able to see. We can call it chromosome like this, right? What is the chromosome? So, it's a structure which is formed after the coiling of the DNA. Everyone, are we clear? That's a chromosome. Difference between D, DNA and gene. See, this is the DNA. What is this? This is the DNA. What is a gene? A small fragment. Okay, can, can I make it really very easy? With a very word class example. Let's suppose this is 10th A. This is 10th A. I am calling 10th A as a DNA. Right? And of course, we have various students inside the class. Everyone is different from each other. Right? So, we can call these as the genes. So, what a class made up of? A class will have students. Right? What the DNA is made up of? Of course, we have the genes. That will be giving the characteristic features. See, every class has the character, right? Oh, 10th A is a very good class. All oh, very studious students are there. Oh, nobody talks in that class. Oh, 10th A has a very peculiar characteristic features, right? And in some way, and in some way, you know what happens? Oh, you know what? Oh, 10th A has notorious students. Oh, all the students are, you know, uh, full of musty. They don't listen to the teacher. They bully teacher sometimes, etc., etc. Right? So, we have a characteristic features, right everyone? We have a characteristic features. Classes also have characteristic features. You and I also have a characteristic features. For example, if you have to describe me, everyone, I'm sure when you have to describe your teacher, you'll be saying, you know what? Are you Chashmi Wali ma'am? I'm sure you would have said like this in your schools, right? In schools also we'll have a teacher. Oh, you know, oh, one with a brown bag. Are you Nanke Pas and Jinkipas laptop na Hamesha? So what we do, we try to identify a individual with a character how these characters are coming from right i o t seven guy i am not that bully teacher by all of see so we all have that right so what that's very important for us to understand this so everyone are we clear but so everyone raise your hand are we clear what is gene what is dna See, before we move ahead, everyone, you should have the clarity of all of these terms. Are you clear about what is DNA? Uh, DNA what is chromosome? Tell me, are we clear about this? Are we clear what is chromatin? Are we clear about what is histones? They are the proteins. Yes, are we clear? Yes, okay. Very important term which was asked was the chromatids. What are chromatids? See this. This is a part of the chromosome, right? Yes, Jainu, please focus over here, everyone. What are these? What are these two? These two are sister chromatid. Why? Because they are identical, right? They are same and once they will combine together, you know what they will form? They will form a chromosome. They will form the chromosome. So this is one sister chromatid. This is one sister chromatid. This is two sister chromatid. Are we clear? Are we clear? Clear everyone? Now, if someone will ask you the difference between chromatin, chromosome and chromatid, do you think you will be able to answer? Yes? Amna, ma'am, single info is called as gene. Yes, a, a, a trait for one thing. Right? A governing factor for one. Yes? NCRT se hi padha rahe hai. Don't worry. Yes, everyone. Are we clear? Chromatin. What is chromatin? What is chromatin? 
right the bead like structures well we have the dna plus proteins and what are the proteins histone proteins what are these proteins when the dna see if this is a dna it will wrap on the proteins that will form the chromatin and chromatin will coil and coil and coil and will form the chromosome we'll be able to see the chromosome only during the cell division right and what is chromatin one sister right one one single the structure that we have in chromosome we have two structures like this right one is called as the chromatids everyone are we clear quick thumbs up very good very good rashmi will discuss about it bachche yes chali okay now let me ask you a very important thing see over here can you see this this is what this is chromosome this is chromosome everyone at the center what we have we have the centromere what we have centromere because it's at the center can you see it's at the center what are these these are the sister chromatids sister chromatid 1 and sister chromatid 2 now in these chromatid if you can see we have the gene location now acha meri baat suno bachcho meri everyone please do pay attention to it ab yahan pe hamara chromosome hai ab chromosome pe aisa nahi hai ki gene se latka hua hai right yes clear it's not ki bhaiya gene aise kahin bhi latka hua hai gene ki specific location hogi gene bolega bhai mujhe is jagah pe rehna hai the same gene right will be present in both the male and the female for example if i say this gene is for the hair color right it's on the hair color and you can see that it is present at the same on the chromatids dono hi location kya hai dono ki dono chromatid pe same hai can you see over here this is sister chromatid this is chromatid 1 chromatid 2 clear location kya hai inki same hai to hum ye bol sakte hain everyone ki on a chromosome on a chromosome the location of the gene for one particular character will be specific will be very very specific clear we will have it in both the parents at the same location everyone are we clear are we clear yes yes bachcho acha team 7 we are just discussing this part we looking at the location only yes so this is very important for us to understand ke on a chromosome right we will have the location of a gene or we can say that right we can say that the gene right that we have on the dna will be very specific clear everyone are we clear see aapki ek fixed jagah hoti hai nahi class mein mujhe batao bahut sari class mein there is a rotation but mostly agar aap ek annual exam mein likhne ja rahe ho So you will have a specific position in your class. कि आपने सात एग्जाम वहीं पे बैठ के लिखने हैं, right? Similarly, the location of a gene on a chromosome is very very specific. And why I am calling it as a chromosome because हमें chromosome दिखता है, right? Why I am calling it chromosome because this is what we can see actually, right? DNA हमें दिखता नहीं है with the naked eyes, but हम chromosome को जब cell division होता है तब हम देख सकते हैं. इसलिए भी I am using a word chromosome over here. everyone are we clear awesome now that we are clear with these let me ask you a very very interesting thing chali i did this in the last class also this is very very interesting all together okay acha mujhe batao both all of you everyone do you think that all the people have same genes tell me Do you think all of us have same genes for hair color? Tell me, tell me. See, we all have hairs, right? So one thing we all have hairs that is common, and we will have definitely the hair color, right? We will have a specific hair color. It could be black, it could be brown, um, you know, brownish, light shade, white, etc., etc. But we all know that we will have the hairs that is one character, and we have the second which is the hair color. right now do you think that all of us have same hair color the answer will be 
No, we do not have the same hair color and that is really very important. Why you and I don't have a same hair color is because of the genes that we get up from our parents. So let's suppose everyone we have father, I'm just writing male and over here the female. During the cell division, you know what will happen? We will have chromatids open like this. Let me just put it in a short way. We have this chromosome. Right, what will happen? During the cell division, these sister chromatids will be separate. And definitely they will be carrying a gene. Now there is a chance of complete randomness, right? This can combine with this. This can combine with this. Right? So it could be that black and brown combination is formed or sometime black and black combination is formed clear are you clear are you there with me everyone see i will take your doubts give me five minutes everyone focus over here focus over here are we clear up to here yes everyone are we clear so what we are saying over here is that ki we will have a alternative form of gene it's the alternative, right? Or it could be black also. It could be brown also. For example, if you go, if you go to a ice cream parlor, right? We have ice cream, but we have variety, right? Yes or no? We have variety. We have alternative form. So similarly, genes is there definitely. Hair color ka gene hoga? Haan, bilkul hoga. But the color can definitely vary. It could be black. It could be brown, it could be light brown, etc, etc. So we can say that these are the alternative forms. Alternative forms, right? These are the alternative forms of genes. And what we call them as? As many of you are saying, we call them as allele. What we call them as? We call them as allele. Everyone, are we clear? Are we clear? Now everyone, I'm stopping here for uh, some time and I'll take your doubts. Ma'am, can a single chromosome have more than a pair? Definitely, why not? It is possible. We have, you know, more than 30,000 approximately genes. Can you be all Okay? Clear? Yes. Jibrasha, yes, I'm repeating. But give me a minute. Nana, I... Don't understand what you're asking, but we are starting from NCRT only. Clear? Chali. Done, 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 done. Yes, I'm summarizing it, everyone. Now, I want full attention. Alternative form of genie is very good, very good. Okay. Chali. Ma'am, can chromosome visible without microscope? No, without microscope, you'll not be able to see. We need microscope for that. Ha, Rashmi, here for you, everyone. What is the definition of a gene? Uh, sorry, allele. Take a screenshot. Take a screenshot. Allele is one of the two or more variation of a gene present on the same locus on the homologous chromosome. Homologous means same. Chromatids, right? Same. So these genes are present on the homologous chromosomes. So, we can say that an allele is one or two or basically one of the Two or more variation of a gene that is present on the same location. Locus means location on the homologous chromosome. Are we clear? Shine DNA recombination, I'll tell you, but we don't have in class 10th. That's a technology where we're combining the DNA, right? And of course, we are using bacteria, we are using yeast into other processes. Clear, everyone? Saroj, I'll answer your question. Give me some time. Okay, difference between gene and trait, one minute, wait for it and we are moving there. We don't have evolution. Absolutely correct. Okay, so here we go everyone. So we can say that, see over here. Can you see pink and pink? Everyone, raise your hand and focus over here. Give me a quick thumbs up if you are clear with this. We have the chromosome, we have the pink and pink and we have the green. We have pink and pink and we have the yellow. So that is a specific gene that we are talking about. What will happen during the gametes formation, right? The chromosome will get randomly split, right? And we will see the combination. This is happening during the sexual reproduction. We all know in the last chapter of how do organisms reproduce, you have studied about sexual reproduction. 
how the gametes are formed sperm and the ovum right we know that ovum or the egg cell is a female gamete and sperm is a male gamete they will have their different characteristic features they will fuse together and they'll form the zygote and this zygote will develop into the baby so this particular by baby or the zygote will have the characteristic features of both the parents right total how many chromosomes we have total everyone how many chromosomes we have very good we have 46 chromosome we have 46 chromosome and we call them as if you write two in a pair you'll write 23 pairs so both the parents will have 23 23, 23 pairs right but only half the chromosomes from one parent and from the other parent will be coming and that's how we'll have the 23 20, 23 pairs in a chromosome in the zygote everyone are we clear yes are we clear clear everyone are you clear up to here it's very very interesting and super easy right now that we are clear with this now that we are clear with what is gene what is dna what is the allele can we say that all of this will be giving us some variation do you agree that you and i are not same because over the period of time in the generations and generations small small variation have occurred and because of that you and me are different in the chapter of how do organisms reproduce we have discussed about the variation in sexual reproduction we will see some changes happening yes or no everyone what do you think if we have two amoeba do you do you think that you will be able to differentiate between the amoeba because mostly the amoeba will be of same characteristic features yes but of course if you uh, if if me and ashwara ma'am are standing you will be able to easily differentiate between me and ma'am because we have lots of variation we have lots of difference in the physical appearance right you will be able to identify us easily so we can say that in the sexual reproduction we will see the rise of variation everyone are we clear yes are we clear yes very good very good okay okay we have the shot on the dna so you can go and watch on the channel dna right when we talk about the gametes right they are haploid diploid means they'll have two pairs haploid means they will have single pair so they have single pair right clear yes very good 23 23 46 total Hep, they are the haploid okay so everyone are we clear up to here half an hour are you clear with the words are you clear with the words are you clear with what is gene what is dna what is allele what is chromosome what is chromas uh, chromo uh, chromatin and what is chromatids jaldi jaldi everyone yes 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 awesome now that we have the foundation can i add one more layer our cake jagdam badhiya se ban gaya can i add the cherry on uh, cherry on the top cherry laga do cake pe aise lagate hain ekdam beautiful cake hai and we just put a cherry and then the cake looks awesome right so jitna abhi humne genes padha right what are these genes will be expressing themselves how the genes will be expressing this is how we have the dna we know that this particular small fragment is a d uh, is a gene that will be coding for a protein right so in between protein and dna we have something called as rna now many of you were asking about the rna what is rna everyone it is the ribo nucleic acid rna clear ribo nucleic acid now what is the role of the rna you will be learning in your higher classes but now can i tell you one thing can i tell you one thing dna is there as a genetic material dna is a genetic material right dna will be able to send the signals to the cells right okay so you do this you do this you do this so rna is basically a messenger right it is a messenger we can say that clear everyone DNA and RNA are very much similar and they have a very slight structural difference but they are very very important right so this RNA 
you'll be learning in your higher classes will be undergoing changes right processes are happening and they will be forming the proteins and proteins are the building block and proteins are the reason we have different characteristic features so in short everyone in short okay in short if i tell you okay let's suppose let's make it easy this is your class teacher we are calling dna as your class teacher we have your class leader this is the rna and you all are the students and we are calling you as the protein so mujhe ek baat batao right अगर क्लास टीचर को कोई इंफॉर्मेशन पास ऑन करनी होती है जो पूरी क्लास के लिए है तो वो क्या करते हैं वो बोलेंगे क्लास लीडर को या क्लास मॉनिटर को कि बच्चे तुम ये ये सब करवाना है राइट और फिर क्लास लीडर आके बोल देगा अरे बच्चों हमें ये काम करना है सो इन दी जीन एक्सप्रेशन वी हैव थ्री इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स डी ने क्या करेगा अपने आप को रेप्लीकेट करेगा इंफॉर्मेशन उसके पास में अब वो बाहर तक कैसे जाएगी इंफॉर्मेशन क्योंकि डी तो बाहर नहीं जा रहा है वो वो बेसिकली आरएनए के थ्रू इंफॉर्मेशन पास ऑन करेगा राइट right? वो क्या करेगा डीएनए आरएनए के थ्रू इंफॉर्मेशन पास ऑन करेगा और ये इंफॉर्मेशन जाएगी और बनाएगी प्रोटीन जिससे हमें मिलेंगे कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर्स आर वी क्लियर नहीं टूटा हुआ डीएनए नहीं बोल सकते बच्चे इट्स नॉट द टूटा हुआ डीएनए इट्स नॉट अ ब्रोकन पार्ट ऑफ द डीएनए राइट डीएनए का बेसिकली ट्रांसक्रिप्शन होता है डीएनए को रीड करा जाएगा डीएनए को समझा जाता है और फिर बनता है आरएनए तो आरएनए अपने आप में एक आइडेंटिटी है आरएनए डीएनए का पार्ट नहीं बोल सकते आरएनए अपने आप में एक आइडेंटिटी है ठीक है वो समझता है कि अच्छा ये डीएनए बोलना क्या चाह रहा है बाहर जो माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया है या फिर ई ER है या फिर बाकी सब ऑर्गेनल वो उतने पढ़े लिखे नहीं है कि डीएनए की भाषा को समझ पाए तो आरएनए बोलता है ठीक है मैं बीच में इंटरमीडिएट बनकर ट्रांसलेटर बनता हूं मैं जो वो बोल रहे उन्हें पढ़ के समझूंगा और फिर मैं बाहर जाके बता दूंगा क्लियर एवरीवन आर वी क्लियर आर वी क्लियर सी जीन एक्सप्रेशन पे टाइम मत देना दिस इज एन एक्स्ट्रा इंफॉर्मेशन दैट आई एम शेयरिंग विद यू आर वी क्लियर आर वी क्लियर एवरी चलिए क्विक थम्स अप गिव मी एवरी वन हाफ एन आवर वी आर इन टू एन अभी तक हमने क्या पढ़ लिया है हमने अपने फाउंडेशन क्लियर करी है राइट आई एम जस्ट रिकॉर्डिंग अगेन फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू व्हाट इज डीएनए डीएनए इज डी ऑक्सीडाइगोन्यूक्लिक एसिड दिस इज द जेनेटिक मटेरियल दिस इज दी जेनेटिक मटेरियल जो कहां पे प्रेजेंट है इट इज प्रेजेंट इनसाइड द न्यूक्लियस ये इट्स अ हाईली कॉइल स्ट्रक्चर ये जो बहुत ज्यादा कॉइल स्ट्रक्चर बनाएगा उसे हम क्या बोलते हैं उसे हम बोलते हैं क्रोमोजो जो ऐसा दिखता है क्रोमोसोम को अगर हम ओपन करेंगे तो हमें मिलेगा क्रोमैटिन व्हाट वील गेट विल गेट द क्रोमैटिन व्हिच इज नथिंग बट द डीएनए व्हिच इज रैप्ड ऑन दी प्रोटीन्स क्लियर एंड अगर हम जीन की बात करें जीन इज अ स्मॉल सेगमेंट या फिर स्मॉल फ्रैगमेंट ऑफ डीएनए जो एक्चुअली में हमें ट्रेड या कैरेक्टर देगा इट बी गिविंग अस दी कैरेक्टर क्लियर Are we clear? And what is the most important and new term that we all learned in this half an hour class as of now? Is the it's a alternative. It's a alternative form of G. Are we clear? Tell us about it. Are we clear? Yes. Narendra, I'll answer your question. I will answer your question. But everyone, are we clear? Yes, everyone, are we clear? Chali. Now Narendra has a very interesting question. Now why variation is more in the sexual reproduction and not in the asexual reproduction? Because in the sexual reproduction there is a mixing of the gametes. Mother and father ki genetic information mix ho rahi hai, chromosome mix ho rahe hain, right? So it will be different, right? वहाँ पे भी variation देखेगा. Where, where as, where as in the asexual reproduction. We know that organism will make the identical copies. DNA के अंदर कोई चेंज नहीं हो रहा है जेनेटिक मटेरियल के अंदर कोई भी चेंज नहीं हो रहा है वेरिएशन होता है तो बहुत बहुत स्लाइट चेंज दैट विल बी एबल टू ऑब्जर्व ओनली आफ्टर वेरियस जनरेशन क्लियर ओके यस थैंक यू दिव्यांशु फॉर हेल्पिंग योर फ्रेंड्स आउट देर यस क्रिस्टल क्लियर ओके दिव्यांशु फ्लेक्स ओके फ्लेक्स विल डिस्कस अबाउट दर हाउस लेटर 
मैम हाउ डी एन एन आर एन ए आर कनेक्टेड बच्चे डी एन एन आर एन नॉट कनेक्टेड कनेक्टेड बट दैट्स अ डिफरेंट फॉर्म डी एन ए से राइट डी एन ए को अगर हम पढ़ेंगे वी कॉल दैट प्रोसेस ट्रांसक्रिप्शन यू बी लर्निंग इन इलेवंथ सॉरी ट्वेल्थ क्लास डी एन ए ये है हमारा इसकी बेसिकली पढ़ाई होगी ट्रांसक्राइब किया जाएगा फ्रॉम द डी एन ए विल बी एबल टू सी द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द आर एन ए ठीक है आर एन ए एक फॉर्म बन जाएगी जो डी एन ए को पढ़ सकता है जिसने पढ़ लिया है कि हाँ डी एन ए क्या बोल रहा है इन अजिएस्ट फॉर्म एंड अब आर एन ए ट्रांसलेट करेगा एंड विल बी सी दॉर्मेशन ऑफ प्रोटीन क्लियर फिर दिस इज अ लिटल बिट हायर एज ऑफ नाउ फॉर आर क्लास बट यू बी लर्निंग मोर राइट एवरी वन आर वी क्लियर Yes, Aisha, ma'am, you have said that chromatin material are only from the cell division. But how do we have from? <laughs> but see, chromatin to hai na cell me during the cell division they are they they come into that structure, right? Okay, genetics, bache, the study of genes. Very good, Hardeep. DNA has two strand, RNA has one strand. Okay. इंपॉर्टेंट डायग्राम कुछ नहीं है इस चैप्टर में आई टेल यू इफ यू हैव नरेंद्र वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द सेंट्रोमियर डिलोमेरल आई एक्सप्लेन यू वन मिनट क्लियर ऑल ऑफ यू आर वी क्लियर चलिए सो एवरीवन आर वी क्लियर अप टू हियर चलिए नाउ लेट्स मूव हेयर एंड लेट्स मूव एंड लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द वेरिएशन नाउ आई टॉक अबाउट अदर थिंग्स एवरीवन प्लीज डू पे अटेंशन ओवर हियर व्हाट इज वेरिएशन अभी भी बोला था व्हाट इज वेरिएशन What is variation, everyone? What is variation? Variation is nothing but the difference in the trait shown by the individual of a species and also by the offspring of a same parent. See, you and me are not same. That is variation. That is the variation. You and me are not same as our parents also, right? We'll have slight, slight changes altogether. Yes, and if we see this variation over the period of time, we will be able to see a lots and lots of changes, right? See, eventually, आपने evolution में, I'm sure we have have seen movies, documentaries, के how the the current human like us have developed, right? Initially, of course, we were like, we 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 always say that our ancestors were chimpanzees, right? So from there, we saw lots and lots of variation have happened, and then we are into this form. Yes, so we can say that variations are super important. Why they are important? You have studied in how do organisms reproduce? They help in the continuation of the species. They help in the survival of the species. This is very very important, and the variation leads to the evolution, formation of something new that will be able to help us in survival. Clear? Yes, Tamanna, I'll explain about the sex determination a little bit. Please have attention on this particular topic now. Chali. So here, everyone. See, we have two different faces. Is it team cell, team seven? They are the nearest ancestor that we have. Okay, Charlie, right? Everyone, see over here. We have eyes, we have nose, and we have hairs. Both of these girls have a same gene, right? They will have a gene for the nose formation. They will have a gene for the eye formation. They will have a gene for the lip formation. But genes will not be the same, right? Genes. Will be different genes will be different, and hence we understand that these are very very important for all of us, right? And this is how we'll see the variation happening. Now, if you talk about this, everyone, I'm sure, or if you have seen your textbook, which I'm sure you all have, you have seen this, right? In your textbook, यहाँ पे क्या बता रहे हैं? बता रहे हैं accumulation of the gene. so they are telling us that depending on the nature of variation different individual would have different kind of advantages right and selection of the variant by the environment factors from the basic of the evolutionary process as well as we will discuss in the later section kya ho raha hai har individual mein har individual mein jo variation jo aayega na wo different hoga see so you and i could have a same variation but will have a different impact yes it could be Yes, and the selection by the nature will purely be based upon the environmental conditions. We, I'm sure, up subne suna hoga the survival of the fittest, right? The survival of the fittest theory. Yes, we all have studied about this particular theory that the ones who is stronger, right? Who is determined, right? They will be able to survive. Especially, it goes for the animals. 
if an animal can actually attack or can let's suppose can find the prey they'll be able to eat probably and then they'll be able to survive if an animal is weak if they cannot hunt probably they'll not be able to survive because they're not getting the food so this is very very important for us to understand now everyone here we have the textbook snip this is important so we will be reading it let's take a look we have seen that in the reproductive process we know that we will see the give rise to the new individuals but that are similar but different we have discussed how some amount of variation is produced even during the asexual reproduction after the number of successful variation have maximized by the process of sexual reproduction we know that as the sexual reproduction will be happening we'll see more and more variation right if we observe in a field of sugar cane you will find that sugar canes have variation amongst the individual plant but in a number of animals including human beings which reproduce sexually will have quite distinct variation and visible marks everyone are we clear see if we all all of you if you are standing in the class i'll be able to differentiate acha ye rupinder hai ye priyanshu hai ye ak hai ye um पिंकी है राइट हम इजिली आइडेंटिफाई कर देंगे बट अगर हम सेम इफ फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट शुगर क्रेन प्लांट आई विल नॉट बी एबल टू आइडेंटिफाई क्या वेरिएशन हुआ है अच्छा इसमें ग्रीन थोड़ा ऊपर है इसका ग्रीन थोड़ा सा डार्कर शेड लग रहा है इसमें चार पत्तियां हैं इसमें पांच पत्तियां हैं will not be able to differentiate as much as we can differentiate in the human beings and the other animals so we can clearly see that where we have the sexual reproduction we will be able to identify the changes easily so in this particular chapter we'll be discussing about the variation only moving to this part everyone we have this in your textbook what they are saying they are saying in the asexual reproduction we'll be able to see the changes right but this change will be happening slowly slowly yes everyone so inheritance that that the genes that we get from our parents right provide the information for a basic body design and small changes here and there now what will happen if this new generation which is formed reproduce of course the second generation will have some differences that they have taken from their parents and of course this is if they keep on continuing division थोड़ा बहुत चेंजेस मिलेगा एवरी वन आर वी क्लियर ये आई कैन सी दैट मेनी ऑफ यू आर जस्ट टॉकिंग अमंग योर सेल्फ सी इफ यू वॉन्ट टू टॉक प्लीज लीव द क्लास बी इन द क्लास एंड लिसन टू अस राइट वी आर फोकस्ड इन द लर्निंग एवरी वन मैं समझा रही हूं आई बी टेकिंग ब्रेक्स ऑल्सो सो दैट यू कैन आस्क यूर डाउट बट यू हैव टू पे अटेंशन येस चलिए नाउ इन दिस पर्टिकुलर फिगर वॉट आर वी अंडरस्टैंडिंग वी आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट the situation if a in if we have a single organism like in this case if reproduce which is a asexual reproduction what will happen if a one bacteria agar yahan pe if we call it as a bacteria this will divide what will happen we will have the same two type of bacteria with small variation yes right it will keep on dividing and we'll see small 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 variation altogether yes so we can say that if one bacterium divides and then the resultant two bacteria divide again the four individual bacteria would be very very similar here everyone read your textbook yes there would be only very small minor differences that we will be able to see however in the sexual reproduction we will see that there's a greater diversity and greater variation now does it mean that all these variation in the species have equal chances of surviving in the environment that's definitely not the answer and that's not the case right depending on the nature of the variation different individuals and different uh individuals right will be able to survive clear are we clear now i'm stopping and asking you if you have any doubt please do ask me and then i'll ask you i'll ask you a question yes now how variation is taking place narendra variation is taking place because there is a mixing of the genetic material mother and father ke jab genetic material mix ho rahe hain uski wajah se hame variation mil raha hai ma'am please explain the meaning of the accumulation accumulation means right accumulation means getting accumulated let's suppose okay if we have let's suppose um we have this individual right 
So if this individual have one, let's suppose band, one band. एक band है इसके पास में friendship day में एक band मिला. एक और band मिल जाएगा. बाकी दोस्तों ने दे दिया. एक और band, एक और band. इसका मतलब क्या हुआ? इसके पास में इकट्ठा हो गई चीजें. That is the meaning of accumulation. What is the meaning of accumulation? इकट्ठा कर रहे हैं. It's coming together, getting collected. Absolutely correct नहीं है. So what is happening in terms of variation is that probably, probably everyone, we all say, right? If, let's suppose, this is the ancestor. This is the ancestor, everyone. Right? Jab inho ne reproduce kiya. So kya hoga? Thoda sa change ho sakta hai. Thoda sa changes ho sakte hai. If the other generation will reproduce, we'll see more and more variation. Clear? Now, let me explain you what the slide was telling us over here. Yes, यहाँ पे हमें ये बता रहे हैं कि अगर एक organism which is asexually reproducing वहाँ पे variation बहुत ही छोटे-छोटे quantity में दिखेंगे, right? वो बहुत similar रहेंगे, variation बहुत ही छोटे-छोटे होंगे. But whereas in the sexual reproduction the where the variation will be very much visible. क्यों हो रहा है? क्योंकि of course there's a mixing of the genes, right? दो parents हैं जिनके पास में जिनका genetic makeup absolutely different है. तो जब वो मिक्स होंगे तो चेंजेस होंगे ना वेरी इजी अगर आप इफ यू मिक्स चॉकलेट फ्लेवर ऑफ द आइसक्रीम एंड वेनिला फ्लेवर ऑफ द आइसक्रीम डू यू थिंक विल हैव समथिंग न्यू फ्लेवर जल्दी से बताओ राइट वेरी गुड यस टीम सेवन गाय मिक्सिंग ऑफ द जीन्स विल बी रिजल्टिंग इन द वेरिएशन आई एम श्योर यू विल बी एबल टू सी द डिफरेंस इन द फ्लेवर ऑफ द आइसक्रीम यस क्लियर and similarly, हम लोग अगर variation की बात करेंगे in the sexual reproduction, we'll see more क्योंकि भी mixing हो रही है, right? It's a clear cut mixing. Okay, चलिए. Okay, so everyone, are we clear up to here, right? Are we clear up to here? Are we clear with the accumulation? I know. Okay, quick thumbs up everyone. Quick thumbs up. Yes. Alex is asking him how the variation actually helps with the survival. For example, if I, if I'm going to a very cold region, right? Probably I, I'll not be able to survive there for longest. If I need some equipments, I need jackets, I need some, uh, you know, I will be needing something so that I can keep myself warm. But if I'm there for a long, long time, I'm sure you'll see the change in the genes at a level that the tolerance level of the cold will definitely will increase. अच्छा ये बात किसके से देखी है? I'm sure this is the scientifically proven thing. The people who are living in the high altitude, they have more of RBC. पता है किस किसको पता है? Give me a quick thumbs up. I'm sure you would have read about it that people who are living in a higher altitude, right? They have more RBCs because they need more oxygen. Higher altitude पे जाते हैं तो oxygen वैसे भी कम होता है, right? तो they need more RBCs. So that's the genetic changes, right? The variation came. The variation came from the variation. Because many generations of people were living there. To survive for them, this change was made. Eventually by the body. Yes? Okay. Very good. Very good. So let me ask you a question, everyone. Here we have this question from your textbook. In text question we have, If a trait A exists in 10% of the population, of an asexual reproducing species and trait B is present in 60% of the same population. Which trait is li likely to be present in earlier? See, we have trait A and we have trait B. Trait A is there only in the 10% of the population. And trait B is there in the 60% of the population. Which trait was there with the population earlier? Or which is a new trait which has been added? Very good. So, trait B is an old trait we can say. Bahaat time pehle se tha. Whereas, A trait is been the new addition. Clear? Okay. Let me ask you one more question everyone. This is a question from your NCRT. In text question hai ye. How does the creation of variation in a species promote survival? This is what you were asking me. Yes, this is what you were asking me. How does the creation of variation in our species promote survival? 
How does it happen? We know that when the variation is there, right? When the variation is there, it will be improving the survival rate of the species, right? They can easily adapt, right? They can easily fight the environmental condition. It will be helping in the survival. Very, very good. Very good, everyone. So, everyone, are we clear up to this? Are we clear up to this? Very good, Team 7, Guy, Divyanshu, Rashmi, Narendra, Bache, Narendra, you have to wait. Give me some time. See, we don't have that. Centromere is a center. Telomere, of course, we have it. See, we have different types of chromosome all together, right? And we have different things in that. That's, I would say, as of now, I'll explain you. Give me some time. But please don't spam again and again. No Deepika. That's not the case every time. Okay. Now, let's talk about the name of the chapter, which is the heredity. What is the heredity, everyone? It's nothing but the transfer of the genes from one generation to the another. Easy peasy, right? Abhi tak humne par liya. What we have studied? We have studied about the gene. We have studied about the DNA. We have studied about the allele. We have studied about the variation also. And now, we will be discussing about heredity. What is heredity? It's nothing but the transfer of the genes from one generation to the next generation. Easy peasy. We have one more term which is inheritance. The act of transfer of genes from one generation to the another. Inheritance. Inheritance. We get it from our parents. Yes? Absolutely correct. Now here everyone I am introducing two terms that are very very crucial and that you will be recalling again and again and those are the two terms which are the character and the trait. What is a character? A character is a feature that varies among the individual. For example, you and me will have different height, flower color will be different, right? We can have the different from all together. Yes? Clear? See over here, we have a heritable feature that varies among individual. Yes, for example, all of us will have different height. All of us will have different height. Yes, but we will have the height for a factor. So, character is a heritable feature that varies. Then, we have different traits. Each variant of a character is called as trait. So, we have height. Height could be tall, height could be small, flower color could be orange, pink, red, etc. Heredity is something or heredity is nothing but the transfer of genes. Transfer of genes is called as heredity. The act of transfer, the act, inheritance, kis tariqe se wo transfer hua? Right? Yes? Clear? How it, is, how it got transferred is the inheritance. Hame mila hai ye. Clear? Okay. Yes, Rupendor, Team 7 guy, I hope that you are clear with this. Okay. Everyone, let's stay focused. I, I am really sorry. I don't know how many kids are there. And everyone, please hit the like button for the video. Yes. Okay. Ma'am, which chromosome is not a perfect pair in the human males? I didn't get the question. Okay. Yes. We are talking about heredity and not heredity. Okay. Chali. So we are clear with the two terms everyone. Are we clear with what is straight and what is character? Character of course like height is a character. Tall height, short height, right? Hair color, black, brown, light brown, etc, etc are the traits. Hair color is a character. Yes. We, we don't have different eye side. Well, of course, with the power, of course, that happens. We have different eye color. Clear? Chali. Now, everyone, the very basic thing, what is genetics? Nothing but the branch of biology that deals with the study of genes and the inheritance is called as genetics. That is what we are studying, right? That, that is what we are studying. See, everyone, I'm really sorry. I'll not be able to control the chat now, but if you want... Those of you who are there in class or disturbing element, please leave the class. That's the only request I can have. I'm really sorry, I'll not be able to control the chat now. But requesting all of you to please pay attention. I know that students, sometimes it could be a chat is disturbing. Chat ko hata do, 
राइट इफ यू वॉचिंग ऑन योर सिस्टम यू कैन हाइड द चार्ट एंड फोन पे देख रहे हो तो स्क्रीन को बड़ा कर दो चार्ट नहीं दिखेगी चल एफ तो राइट ओके चलिए लेट मी आस्क यूर क्वेश्चन एवरी वन लेट मी आस्क यू अ क्वेश्चन वी गो द टू वेरिएशन ऑफ अ ट्रेड राइट विच ब्रॉट इन बाय अ मेल एंड फीमेल गेमीज आर सिचुएटेड ऑन कॉपीज ऑफ अ सेम क्रोमोजोम सेक्स क्रोमोजोम टू डिफरेंट क्रोमोजोम्स और ऑटोजोम्स रीड द क्वेश्चन केयरफुली कावे फॉर टू आवर्स अरे अरे नहीं नहीं रीड द क्वेश्चन केयरफुली the two variation the two variation of a trait or a character which is brought by the male and female gametes are situated on sabhi galat answer kar rahe hain read the question carefully read the question carefully the two version are we have discussed this right we saw that there are two chromosome one two right gene yahan pe tha gene yahan pe tha Yes. If this is male and this is female, we call them as homologous chromosome, chromatids. I am giving you the hint. All of you are now answering. You are picking up the wrong answer. Copies. Option number A is the correct. Now I can see the correct answer. Everyone in the chat. The answer for this will be the copies of the same chromosome. बच्चों हमें पता है. जो जो वेरिएशन है हेयर कलर ब्लैक हेयर कलर ब्राउन राइट जो पेरेंट्स हमें मिलता है इन मेल एंड फीमेल कहां पे प्रेजेंट होगा ऑन द कॉपीज ऑफ अ सेम क्रोमोजोम कॉपीज ऑफ अ सेम क्रोमोजोम राइट तभी तो हम उसे क्रोमेटिक बोलते हैं राइट होमोलोगस क्रोमोजोम होमोलोगस क्रोमोजोम सो होमोलोगस क्रोमोजोम मेल में भी है राइट right? ऑफकोर्स वो सेम क्रोमोजोम जिसके पास में हेयर का जीन है वो क्रोमोजोम मेल में भी है फीमेल में भी है उनके पास में जीन दूसरे हो सकते हैं पर क्रोमोसोम तो है यस क्लियर आर वी क्लियर अब हम देखते हैं कि बाकी आंसर क्यों गलत है वॉट इज ऑटोजोम ऑटोजोम ऑफकोर्स वो क्रोमोसोम होते हैं जो पूरी बॉडी में प्रेजेंट है हर सेल में राइट वी हैव ट्वेंटी टू पेयर जिन्हें हम क्या बोलते हैं ऑटोजोम्स क्लियर दीज आर दी कॉल्ड एज ऑटोजोम्स Right, so that could never be the answer. Two different chromosome. Which is different chromosome? It could be chromosome one, could be chromosome two also. That can never be the case. And sex chromosome, so then we have only X or Y. It can't be in the answer. Mein. Clear? Everyone, are we clear? Yes. Very, very good. See, it's a very simple question, kids. अभी यहां पे हमें बात नहीं करनी सेक्स क्रोमोसोम की या फिर क्रोमोसोम की हम एक सिंपल सी बात कर रहे हैं अगर हमारे पास में एक क्रोमोसोम है राइट right? हमारे पास में एक क्रोमोसोम है राइट right? हमारे पास में ये जीन है जो ट्रेट है बेसिकली ये मेल है और ये फीमेल क्रोमोसोम यस क्लियर अब ये जो दो वर्जन है हमारे पास में हेयर कलर ब्लैक लेट मी राइट ओवर हेयर राइट and we have hair color which is brown right ye male and female mein hai ye kahan pe present hai see we how many pairs we have how many pairs we have chromosome we have 23 pairs male and female mein bachcho chromosome 1 se leke chromosome 22 tak same chromosome honge they will be looking like same aur in pe same genes present hai हेयर का नोज uh, का एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा जो एक लास्ट पेयर है एक्स या वाई जो 23 थ्री पेयर है बस वो डिफरेंट होता है सो so, इन क्रोमोसोम्स में जो हम बात कर रहे हैं इन क्रोमोसोम्स की राइट right, ये कहां पे प्रेजेंट है जो जीन हमारा है जो ट्रेड वो कहां पे प्रेजेंट है ना कॉपीज कॉपी ऑफ वन क्रोमोसोम मेल से है कॉपी ऑफ वन क्रोमोसोम फीमेल से है तो इसकी लोकेशन क्या है दे आर द सेम क्लियर तो दे आर द कॉपीज ऑफ सेम क्रोमोजोम बच्चों ये क्लियर हुआ क्या थोड़ा सा डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन है ऐसे ही क्वेश्चन आएंगे इट कुड बी लिटिल बट ट्रिकियर बट इफ यू रीड द क्वेश्चन केयरफुली यू विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड द टू वर्जन ऑफ अ ट्रेड विच आर ब्रॉड इन बाय मेल एंड फीमेल राइट ये मीन्स आर सिचुएटेड ऑन कॉपीज ऑफ सेम क्रोमोजोम आर वी क्लियर चलिए मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एवरी राइट ओके 
चलिए ओके डू यू वॉन्ट ब्रेक सी वन आर इज देर वी नाउ बी स्टार्टिंग विद मेंडल्स का एक्सपेरिमेंट वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द मेंडल्स एक्सपेरिमेंट Right, we'll be talking about the Mendel's experiment. Team seven, I can understand your question. You are saying male and female के gametes बोल रहे हो बच्चे ना? Male and female के gametes में बच्चे अगर simple सी बात करें, see we have how many chromosome? We have twenty three chromosome. Twenty three chromosome here, twenty three chromosome here. One chromosome, two chromosome, three chromosome, and then similarly we'll have this. Right? Two versions, one version or one version over here. Which are brought by male and female gametes are situated on the copies of same chromosome. Chromosome की जो same copy है उसी पे होगा. Yes, बच्चों सबको समझ में आया ये. I hope that all of you are clear with this. I hope that all of you are clear with this. हम यहाँ पे gametes के बारे में बात नहीं कर रहे हैं. हम बस ये बोल रहे हैं कि जो उनके पास में chromosome है वो कहाँ पे होंगे, right? जो ये जो हमारे पास में दो ट्रेड मैं बोल रही थी जो मेल के पास भी है और वो फीमेल के पास भी है वो बच्चों कहां पे होगा सेम कॉपी पे होगा होमोलोगस क्रोमोसोम की कॉपी पे राइट ऐसा तो नहीं हो सकता ना कि मेल का वन क्रोमोसोम टू क्रोमोसोम के साथ में आ रहा है नहीं होता ना ऐसा मेल का अगर वन क्रोमोजोम है वो उसके पास में कौन सा क्रोमोजोम आएगा फीमेल का वन क्रोमोजोम ही आएगा ये क्लियर हुआ सबको ऑल ऑफ यू आर यू क्लियर विद दिस गिव मी अक्विक थम्स अप हाँ दैट्स वॉट थीम सेवन मतलब एक तरीके का एलिंग है तभी तो बोला है ना टू डिफरेंट वेरिएशन ऑफ ट्रेट्स बच्चों एक्चुअली आंसर हमारा ना क्वेश्चन में ही था टू वर्जन ऑफ ट्रेट्स बोल दिया तो हमें पता है ओके चलिए ओके सो एवरी वन लेट्स टेक अ ब्रेक ऑफ फाइव मिनट्स राइट लेट्स टेक अ ब्रेक ऑफ फाइव मिनट्स बिकॉज आफ्टर दिस हम स्टार्ट करेंगे दी लॉज ऑफ इनहेरिटेंस राइट लॉज ऑफ इनहेरिटेंस स्टार्ट करेंगे आई एम गिविंग यू फाइव मिनट्स ब्रेक Just short to the five minutes break, everyone. Now, in meanwhile, what you will do? Read the NCERT. For us, walk, carlo, or not? Then, then NCERT, padho ek bar. Clear? So we'll meet. Today is almost. We have nine five. If we approximately mark it, chale. So we'll resume at nine ten. Are we? Are you clear? Chale. So we'll meet at night nine ten. Done? Okay. Chale. I'll see you on the other side.
Hello everyone. I was just reading your chat. Few of them, ma'am, we are sleepy. One hour, everyone. One more hour, and we will be able to finish this off. I need your help, right? I need your support. I need your support. In one hour, we'll be able to finish. Chaliye, right? Okay. A third of the question was asking in which of the two will have more variation? Zada variation will be trait B. Less variation, trait A. Are it's very easy, but she will make it really very easy. Chaliye. So are we ready for the? Okay. Oh, little bit. Yes. Okay. So everyone, let's uh, let's quickly revise what we have started, and then we'll move ahead. So we started about uh, we started talking about the genes. We talked about the DNA. We talked about the allele. We talked about the variation. Right? Ki variation kyu ho raha hai? Because of the accumulation of the uh, accumulation of the changes that we have. Right? Small small changes are happening, and because of that, we will see the variation. Clear? Gene clear hai, DNA clear hai, LE clear hai, and variation clear hai. We will see the variation is happening, right? We will see variation is more in sexual reproduction. Why? Because there is a mixing of genes. First, we can say because of the mixing of genes, in we will see more of the uh, variation in sexual reproduction, right? And the variation will actually help in the survival of the species, in the continuation of the species, and will be helping in the evolution. Clear? Yes? Okay. Ma'am, what are genes and allele? Are your genes and allele? Genes is a small fragment. Gene is a small fragment of the DNA, right? And allele is an alternative form of the gene. See, if an individual have black color and one have the uh, brown color here, so what are these? These are different color, hair color, right? So that is the alternative form of the gene. That is the allele. Law of segregation, law of dominance, dihybrid cross, ma'am, monohybrid cross. Ek, minute, ruk jao. Batati hu. We will be starting everyone, and then of course I will be coming over there. Okay, we will be learning all of this. But let's go by step by step. Ab aisa thodi hai ke we will start directly from the dihybrid cross. We have to build the bhumi ka right. Allah se. लेके चलना पड़ेगा सभी चीजों को साथ में देन ओनली विल बी टू अंडरस्टैंड चलिए सो वी स्टार्टिंग विद द मेंडल्स एक्सपेरिमेंट एवरीवन राइट बायोडायरी हैव जस्ट रिपीटेड इट यू कैन गो एंड यू कैन वॉच इट अगेन राइट रगोर जोहान्स मेंडल दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नेम दैट वील रिमेंबर वी ऑल्सो कॉल हिम एज अ फादर ऑफ द जेनेटिक्स राइट एंड ही कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटेड अ लॉट लॉट सो वॉट ही डेड ऑफकोर्स we will not be going into the history of it but let's understand so of course he uh, was he belongs to a very poor farmer family right um, and he was not that good in studies what he started doing that he um, started doing a little bit of more research and then he went to the church where they were they will be able to provide some money and some education so there he started performing experiments on the pea plant right on the pea plant and that is the main important source of his experiment everyone the pea plant jo chote se matarang khate na right that the scientific name of the garden pea that the one that he used in his experiment is the pisim satvium remember the name remember the name everyone and we all know that how we should be writing it p will be capital and s will be the small over here remember the name super important so the scientific name of the garden pea is the pisim P pisim right pisim satvium clear it's a common edible pea and of course it has chromon chromosome number of 2n basically diploid form how many chromosome 14 chromosomes clear so we can see that plants also have chromosomes they also have the chromosome they also have the genetic material right chal now what he did with this plant is very very interesting and the question that can be asked that why he opted for Why he opted for the pea plant, right, ma'am? How do we know it has four, fourteen chromosomes after the studies, right? Of course, during the cell division, we'll be able to see something from there. Of course, and after the research, we came to know about this. It is not the recorded uh, session; it's a live class. Okay, 
Now let's talk about everyone why Mendel opted for only the pea plant. Bhai, dunya mein itne saare plants hain. But why only? But why only the pea plant? Very important first point because it has a very short lifespan. For example, if you are doing an experiment, probably you will be picking up a species which can give you result in a quickly, which can give results very quickly. So one of the reason for choosing the pea plant was it has a very short lifespan of one year. So in one year, they will be able to see the changes, right? Will be able to see what is happening. Then of course, the second reason is they require less maintenance and labor. Very, very easily grown. We don't does not require much, much of the effort in growing. Third important point: multiply plants can be grown in a small area, so they don't need more space, right? In a small space only, we'll have multiple plants growing all together. Then, of course, we have they can be in a pure variety. Pure variety means they're in a pure form: tall plant, tall; white plant, short plant, short. So, in this, we will be able to generate. the pure variety also right then most importantly they exhibit a variety of visible character with contrasting trait in these plants right we can easily see the tall plant short plant the uh, the plant with purple color flower or with a white color flower so they have a very clear cut difference right and we'll be able to see that what the different characteristics the plant have and hence mendel opted for this particular plant the most interesting factor over here is that self fertilizing mating can be controlled easily so of course the mating right of these plants can be easily controlled everyone take a screenshot over here take a screenshot everyone everyone take a screenshot so we know that that pea plant is what pea plant over here we know that is a bisexual flower it has both right male and female so of course self fertilization is easily possible cross pollination self pollination yes very good bhavisha clear everyone are we clear i hope that all of you have taken the screenshot but jaldi se take a screenshot of this ahem <coughs> Okay, everyone. Shall you? Yes, Joel. Fourteen chromosome. Yes, fourteen chromosome in total. Okay, shall you? Now, let's move ahead and let's talk about the different characteristic features. What are the important characteristic features he opted for? Right. So, everyone, here we have we have so many different characteristic features, right? But he opted for few. He opted for flower color, pod color, flower position, seed. ka shape seed ka color stem ka length and the pod color see this is not important but we should know what are the important seven trait he picked up there were seven important traits he used to perform his experiments and over here we have everyone so he opted for the height flower color flower position pod color pod shape seed color and the seed shape clear yes self pollination and cross pollination is also possible the in the cross pollination manual lee we can do that okay chali now in the height everyone we have tall plant and the short plant the pure variety right that you talking about is over here yes those of you who are saying bye bye good night good night bachche you can watch the video later bye comfy studies do take care i think harsh is also left okay chali so in height we have tall and short plant yes a plant could be tall and could be short right this is very very important now over here i want to introduce us to a new term what are those term we have term as dominate and the other word is the recessive now everyone over here we have to understand one important thing and that's a common example i always always use right i always always use is that Let's suppose we have a class monitor or a class leader. We have a class leader, right? And the class leader will be dominating, right? The class leader will be dominating. Sometimes, of 
course, mostly they are dominating. And of course, and all the students are there who are recessive. Who are recessive. What is the meaning of dominating? Apna. Dab daba. Or apne aapko express. They will be able to do it really very easily. If, for example, if, if we walked in into the class, I'm sure you'll be able to see. Achha, this person is very dominating. We all, we use this, con um, I'm sure we use this in our, in our, in our conversation. Uh, in our conversation. You know what, ma'am, ma'am, that person is very dominating. He will not let me speak. He will not finish my answer in my class, even if I'm saying. And I'm, I'm a little bit recessive, right? I'm a little bit recessive because I don't express myself. So, here there are two important terms that we'll be using in the world of genetics, everyone. That is dominating trait and recessive trait. So, dominating trait will be able to express whatever be the condition they are dominating. So, they'll be able to express. Recessive one will be like, okay, if we have someone like us, then only we'll be able to open up. Achha, we can also relate with introvert and extrovert. How many of you are extrovert? Raise your hand, everyone. And how many of you are extrovert? Raise your hand. Those of you are asking, mommy, chapter is marks? Ka Bache, marks, CBSE doesn't tell you. Right? Depending on the trends, we know that this chapter is important. We'll surely get a 5 marks question and a 3 marks question. And of course, we'll have 1 or 2 MCQs also. I can see, I me, mean, I'm an extrovert. Yeah, we have introverts. What is the meaning of extrovert? Those who just feel confident, right? They'll go and talk. Not confident in the sense, they will be very comfortably talking to um, any stranger. Or, hey, achha, achha, achha. You know, they'll be keep on talking. Then, of course, we have introverts who are very selective in where they're talking. And they'll be only talk to the person they feel comfortable with. So, we can say that we have two traits, dominating and recessive. Dominating traits will express themselves and recessive trait will be able to express only in the presence of similar. We'll learn more about it, but just we'll move from ahead from here. Okay. So, the first thing was the height. We have tall plant and the short plant. Then we have the flower color, violet and white color. These are two different types, right? We have violet color flowers and white color flowers. Then we have flower shape, sorry, flower position, axil or the terminal, whether they are present in between or at the end. See, terminal end and the axil end. Clear? Then, of course, we have pod color. Pod color could be green and could be yellow. Write the color of the pod inside which we have the peas. Yes? Then, of course, we have pod shape, whether the pod shape is uh, inflated or constructed. See over here, we have these shapes over here. And this is a plain, flat, inflated. Then, we have seed color, which is uh, green and the yellow. And of course, the last character, we have seed color shape, wrinkled and the round. So, from it, we can clearly say that Mendel worked, Mendel picked up the seven traits. And over here we have, right? He picked up the different seven things. Now, inflated means which is flat. Basically, agar if you go back and see over here, see, the pod shape, right? Can you see over here? Everyone, see pod shape over here, we have this. A little bit of designs is there. And over here, inflated. Like this. Done? Chali. So, we are clear with the seven traits that he opted for. Now, everyone, we'll be going into the details and we'll be talking about the laws which he gave. So, actually, ideally, he didn't give the laws. He just performed the experiment later now, these were formed all together. So, we have law of dominance, law of segregation and law of independent assortment. We will be learning each of them individually. I want full attention now. Okay, chalo bacho. Okay, clap your hands. Or probably you can do like this. If you feel that you are sleepy, just shake your hands like this. Pull your ears like this. Right? See everyone, this is a very interesting trick that works each and every time. If you are feeling sleepy and if you are studying. If you, feel, if you want to continue your studies, right, you can definitely pull your ears like this. Right? Just pull your ears like this. Okay? Just pull your ears, just rotate your neck. Do a little bit of, you know, movement of your feet. Yes? Each switch should be active. Yes. But it's not raat mein mithai nahi khani chahiye, na? You will be super active. Okay, chaliye. So everyone, 
we'll be discussing about the three laws of inheritance right and each of these laws are very important and very easy i want your support right i want your support clear chali flower position archita everyone flower position ek to hoga terminal ekdam upar hai aur ek flower beech mein bhi ho sakta hai this is the terminal position and this is the axial position easy okay chali so now we want we are starting with the mendel's experiment so you know what mendel did mendel ne kya kiya mendel started his experiment by taking the pure variety he took the parent which are pure basically means that they are completely tall and they are completely dwarf clear i'm sure this we can easily identify in a class i'm sure you'll be able to identify the children or the students based upon the height one is taller versus one is shorter etc etc so what he did based upon the character that he was looking for he opted for a plant which was tall and the other one which was dwarf so these are the pure variety means that they have nothing in mixing right they are the pure variety what he did he did the cross of these can we clearly see over here, everyone over here everyone take a screenshot he did he took the pure varieties and he did the cross for these tall plant and the dwarf plant he saw that all the plants were tall now everyone we are going into the detail now we are going into the detail it's a time for us to recall how many of you remember the homologous chromosome how many of you remember the homologous chromosome jaldi se quickly raise your hand right homozygous sorry i'll write homozygous over here abhi bhi padhata na homologous we'll use a term which is homozygous okay now let's talk about it capital t capital t small t and small t in the world of genetics everyone we'll be using the capital letter for dominating trait and we'll be using the small alphabets right small alphabets for the recessive trait characters clear this is what we have and this is what we have in the genetics so let's suppose we have two chromosome right this is t this is t this is homozygous both are same can you see over here this is homozygous if we have capital t and small t this is heterozygous this is heterozygous everyone are we clear this is heterozygous clear homozygous and heterozygous apical uh, acha i think you're talking in, we have so many of it but i think you are confused with the word that we used axil okay everyone are we clear with this chali let's move ahead and let's talk about this so we took a plant which is tall capital t and capital t why we are taking two t who will be telling me why we have two alphabets why we have capital t and capital t two time batao 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 everyone why we have capital t and capital t two times jaldi 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 because every character has a pair right we know that yes we know this yes or no very good very good clear so we have capital t capital t small t and small t what will happen during the cross what will happen we will see that all the plants are tall why because of a maths that will be doing now everyone this is called as punit square what we call it as we call it as a punit square this will be helping us to examine the crosses okay clear so we are saying that we have tall plant this is a tall plant and this is a dwarf plant clear so what we'll do we'll do a simple cross ta ta capital t with small t capital t with small t this capital t with small t and this capital t with small t we know that see small t is recessive will not be able to express itself in the presence of dominating gene so what is happening all the plants are tall they are homozygous or heterozygous jaldi se batao these are homozygous or homos or heterozygous what is their condition 
What is their condition? Are they homozygous or heterozygous? Very good. These are heterozygous. Why? Because we have capital T and small t. Two alleles are there, but they are different from each other. They are different from each other. This is heterozygous. This is heterozygous. All plants are tall in this case. So what happened in this cross? We can clearly see that we have capital T and small t, right? We will see the formation of the gametes. They will split like this. Capital T, capital T, small t and small t. We will do the cross. And during the cross, we will be able to see two important things. New term, everyone. Genotype and phenotype. What is a genotype? What is a genotype? Genotype is something that actually helps us to understand the genetic makeup of the individual. Right? And the phenotype will be able to help us understanding the physical characteristic features. Like whether the plant is tall or whether the plant is dwarf. Genotype and phenotype. I know there is a stacking that has to happen, right? Chali. Everyone, for example, if I say that this is, these are two individuals. Individual A and individual B. Achha, which one of these is tall? Which one of these that I have made between A and B is tall? Aisha will discuss that in your higher classes. We don't have it, but I will explain it at the end. What is, which among these is tall? A or B? Right, we will say A is taller. How you can say that this is taller? Because of course it's visible. Right everyone, you can clearly see and you can tell me ma'am A is taller because I'm a thick right. So over here, the features which are physically visible, right? The one that is visible physically, we can easily see, achha, the hair color is black or the height is tall or the height is short. Those features are the phenotype. They are the phenotype. Physical say will remember this, right? Phenotype. But if we have to understand that what is the genetic makeup of this individual? Why this is tall? This is capital T, capital T. Or this is small t, small t. If we go down at this level, we will call it as a genotype. Everyone, are we clear? No, Ami. No, Amna. We will discuss about that. Clear, everyone? So, if we have to say the phenotype, phenotype is something which is physically visible, right? The height of the plant, the color of the flower, right? The position of the flower, the color of the seed. All of this is physically, if we see, if, if, if we look at the seeds, we'll be able to find it properly. Yes? Clear? Then, phenotype is something, the genetic makeup of the individual. What is the genetic makeup of the individual is a genotype. Clear? Okay, everyone, are we clear? Yes. Okay. So, Moving back to the capital T and capital T. Okay, how many of you know what is capital T and what is small t? This is a tall plant. This is a dwarf plant. Capital T, capital T is dominating and small t and small t is recessive. Right? Now, what are we doing? We are crossing these two plants. If we are crossing the two plants, we can easily see the cross by forming a punit square. We will write capital T, capital T, small t and small t. We will do the cross, right? We will be able to see capital T, small t, capital T, small t. All plants are tall and they are heterozygous. They are heterozygous. Clear? From this, from this we get two important things. What we get, we get what is dominating and what is recessive. Clear? We get what is recessive and what is dominating. These parents, these are the parents. What is the F1 generation? What is the F1 generation? The first generation after the cross is all tall. But it is heterozygous. Capital T and small t. Clear? This is F1 generation. After this whole cross, Right, after this whole cross, we will be able to get a F1 generation. So, the first generation hui, parents say, wo kaisi hai? tall. Hai. But what is the genetic makeup, everyone? Genetic makeup is capital T and small t. It's a heterozygous condition. Now, Mendel has done 
he took this cross only, this F1 generation and crossed it with the same. Capital T, small t, capital T, small t. So, he had this plant mile the unke, F1 generation wale plant ko fir se cross kara. So, if we make this, what will be the case? Jaldi se bata, all of you write in the comment section. Capital T, small t, capital T, small t. What will be the cross? Jaldi se. Bhai ya, bio ki baat chal rahi hai, football kaan se la rahe ho? Haan? Bio ki baat hai, football kaan se aa raha hai? Jaldi, jaldi, jaldi. I can see, I can see the answers. I can see the answers. Very good. Capital T. Capital T and capital T. Achha, badiya, very good. We have capital T and capital T. For this capital T with small t, capital T with small t. Right? Ab. This small t with capital T. And this t with small t. Oh, we have so many changes. So what we saw, or, or we can say what Mendel saw after the cross was that in the F1 generation all were tall. F1 generation was kya the? Tall the. But uh, in the F1 generation when selfing kari, right? Selfing kari is self-pollination. Yes. Yes, it was self-pollination. Selfing basically, right? Then what he did? When he did the cross, he saw that one plant was tall. Of original form mein aa gaya. Right everyone? This is the same parent genotype. Yes or no? Thoda sa variation hua tha. But again we will be able to see that. We have dominating character which is pure. Capital T and small t. Two are heterozygous and one again if you see is the dwarf. Are we clear? See haa pe ekdaam kya ho gaya? There are three dominating plant. Right, three tall plant and there is one drop. This is the phenotype. Why we are saying this is phenotype? Because it is physically visible. We can clearly see from this and we can say that by a teen plant is very big, one plant is small. Right? And then if you look at the genetic makeup, we can say that one is pure tall. Two are mixed, two are heterozygous and one is pure drop. So that is 1 is 2, 2 is to 1 and this is the genotype. What is this? This is the genotype. Everyone are we clear? What is this? This is the genotype. What is the genotype? What is the meaning of genotype? It actually helps us to understand about the genetic makeup of the individual. Actually, what types of allele they have. Is it capital T or capital T? Or is it small t, small t? Or it is a combination of capital T or small t? That will be able to tell us about the genotype. If you talk about the height, skin color, hair color, which is physically appeared, which we can see physically is the phenotype. Clear everyone? Are we clear? Capital T, capital T is dominating. Is dominating. Clear? So everyone, after this cross, what we can say, we can clearly see that there is a formation of the gametes, right? We have a plant which is tall. That's a F1 generation. If we will do the selfing of the F1 generation, we will be able to see this. Right? We'll see the formation of tall plant, heterozygous plant and a trough plant. Yes or no? Clear? Here we have the dominance and the recessive traits. Homozygous, heterozygous, all of these things are here. And with this, we can prove the law of dominance. We can prove the law of dominance, everyone. What is the law of dominance? In. If we have to say, when the parent with the pure contrasting trait are crossed together, only one form of trait appears in the next generation. The hybrid offspring will exhibit, will exhibit only one dominating trait in the phenotype. Clear hai? Bacho, are we clear? Jaldi, jaldi batao. See, the easiest law among the, all the laws is the law of dominance. Right? It tells that if one parent is dominating, only that character will be expressed in the next generation. Easy. Easy peasy. Take a screenshot, jaldi say. Take a screenshot. Ma'am, how was the Mendel able to identify the pure to a plant? Vishal, after the studies, right? That's what he did. 
See, we can easily identify the tall and the short plant, right? Based upon that, he did various cross. If he taking two tall plants and crossing it, if the generation is tall, he knows that it's a tall plant. Yes. Clear? F2 generation is here. See, this is the F2 generation. Everyone, are we clear? Right? Now, this cross, ko, we call it as monohybrid cross because we have only one trait. Yes? Clear? Chali. All of you, all of you, I hope that all of you have your notebook. Now, please come along with me and draw it with me. Chali, everyone, I want all of you to draw this with me. Right over here, parent. Parents. Capital T and small t. Jaldi say everyone, right? We have the parents. We are starting from the beginning everyone. We have the parents which is capital T and small t. If we do the cross, we will be able to get capital T, small t, capital T, small t, capital T, small t. F1 generation is Capital T and small t. Yes, everyone, are we clear up to here? Chalye. Then, if we do the selfing, this process is called as selfing. Right? If we did the selfing, what we'll see? We will see this. We will see that we will have one pure tall plant. Yes, we will have one. Heterozygous, two heterozygous and one drop. This is what? This is F2 generation. What is this everyone? This is F2 generation. Are we clear? What is this? This is F2 generation. Yes? Right? Aisha, because that does not have the trade to do, do that. Yes, are we clear? How about Bachi? This is a general uh, overview. Clear everyone? Yes, this is a general overview. See, these are the gametes. Why we call this as a mono hybrid cross? Mono means single hybrid cross. In a mono hybrid cross, we are just talking about one character. We are talking about only height over here. Right? We are just talking about the height. Tall plant and drop plant. Only one thing we are talking. And hence we call it as a mono hybrid cross. From the mono hybrid cross, we will be able to talk about the law of dominance. Means that only the dominating trait will be expressing. Aisha is asking them why recessive can't express themselves. Because recessive traits are does not hold that power. If we can say that in a simple way, genes are not that stronger. Right? For example, if we have to say the, let's suppose, the hair color black is very dominating. Why? Because it's suitable for the huge population, we can say. Just giving you an example, approximate example. Helping you to understand that we have a difference in the domination and in the recessive. Clear? Everyone, are we clear? Okay. Give me a quick thumbs up. Ha, Vishala, that's what I've explained you. Right? That's what I've explained you. That after doing various crosses again and again, again and again, again and again, then only he was able to identify which is the pure variety. Is it tall or is it drop? For example, if you write the same answer thousand times, I'm sure you will be able to tell ke, Achha, this is the correct answer. Or this word will be coming after this. Right? After performing various experiments again and again, what he concluded that, okay, if we have a cross from a tall plant, we will have a tall generation. In the one year, he was able to see the next generation. So, he did the experiment again and again and that's how he was able to tell. Clear everyone? Quick thumbs up. Are we clear? What is monohybrid cross? Clear everyone? Are we clear? What is monohybrid cross? Yes, da -da -da -da. very good, very good. Chali. Okay, there's one thing everyone that, see this is how we, we have it over here, right? See over here, capital T, 
small t capital T capital T and small t and the small t and small t yes okay so now I'm stopping everyone if you have doubts please ask me if you have doubts please do ask me allele we have spoken about it it's an alternative form of the gene yes Shreya now why does human have something why uh, huh it's an average why we are saying ma'am why does humans have some time average height average height in the sense we have different types of variations altogether, right? Yes. See, it's not as if plant ke bhaiya capital hai, to tall hi hai. Right? Capital T, capital T. We have variation. We have variation in the skin color. We have variation in the hair color. Yes. But if unit square is this square, that actually help us to understand and study about the genotype and the phenotype ratio. Okay. Very good. What is law of dominance? Law of dominance tells that if one parent is dominating, their trait will be expressed in the next generation. Recessive trait will not be able to express. Easy. That's a monohybrid cross. That's a monohybrid cross. Clear? So we here, what we have, we have monohybrid cross. Now, if I go back, everyone, we have capital T and capital T. We have small t and small t. Achha. What are these, everyone? See, we can see, we know that during the time of gamete formation, we, these will come separately. Yes, these will come separately, right? This is how it will be formed. Gametes are formed in humans, right? We have studied. Similarly, during the formation of the gametes in this plant, so like in, in this particular cross, we know that these capital T will be separate. These are the gametes, right? They are separate. Yes. One will be coming from this and one will be coming from this and that's how the cross is formed. That's how the information passes from one generation to the next generation. So here everyone, we know that gametes will be formed. Right? The gametes will be formed. Acha, can I ask you one important thing? Do you think that capital T will be going always with capital T? Tell me, do you think that capital T will always go with capital T? No, right? We will see that there is a separation, right? We will see that the gametes will get segregated from each other. Yes, that's actually help us to understand about the second law of inheritance. That is a law of segregation. Everyone, what is the meaning of segregation? What is the meaning of segregation? How many of you know what is the meaning of segregation? Yes, segregation means separation, right? So, the law of segregation tells us that, that during the gametes formation, during the gamete formation, we will see genes getting separated out like this. We will have the alternative forms like this, right? And then only we'll see the formation of the next generation. We will see mixing happening. So, we can put out this in words that the two alleles of a genetic characters are always going to be separated or segregated from each other in a gamete formation stage. So every time everyone, every time we will see that the gametes will be getting separated. Clear? During the formation of gametes, we will see that they will be separate, right? Clear everyone? Yes? This actually is nothing but the law of segregation. It's a law of segregation. Yes? Clear? We can actually understand law of segregation with the monohybrid cross only. We saw this, right? We saw the gamete ka separation. Here we have capital T, capital T, small t and small t. And then in the punit square, we have capital T, capital T, small t and small t. So we can clearly see there is the segregation happening, right? And now it can go with any of the LE. It's not that it will be going with the capital T only. Yes? Everyone, are we clear? Okay, Raj Kumar, three laws are there of Mendel. Very good, Divyanshu. Very good, Fire Free Karthik. Atharv, Bachavas, I think we have two important topics and we'll be able to finish our class. Yes. I think 20 minutes more. 
Uh, Vishal, if you pay attention, you will be able to find the ratio. Everyone, are we clear? Comfy studies. Very good. You are well back again. Yes, Teja. Okay. Anis, hello. Okay, Karthik is okay. Yes. Probably for in 20 minutes more. Shreya, the question that you are asking is, Ma'am, why will not pea plant show medium height as variation can take place there also? Yes. So when we are studying, Vache, when we are studying the plants, right? When we are studying the plants, that's what that's what we will be studying. See, it's not that ki medium nahi aya hoga. Wo aya hai, right? But they are calling it tall only. There are two important things that we have to remember, right? Variations aaye honge after lots and lots of crosses and generation altogether. But one thing that we have to remember is the pure variety that he was using. Based upon that, we are calling it tall and tall and the drop. We are not going into the in between. We are not talking about the variation as such now. We are just talking in terms of the physical character that was very much evidently visible. And this is purely based upon the purity of variety that we have. So ma'am, can we write it like this during the gamete formation chromosome separate itself? Chromosome separate itself or we can see. Now of course, at this level you can say that during the gamete formation chromosomes will get separated out and of course they will be form coming together. Mixing of chromosomes will happen during that time only. So we can put your words in this way. Ma'am, why no genetic ratio for the hybrid cross? It's there. But we don't remember it. Okay, let's go. Everyone, are we clear about two laws? We have Mendel K3 laws. Law of dominance talks about that. The dominating trait will express itself, not the recessive trait. Law of segregation talks about that during the gamete formation, the gametes will get separated out. Are we clear? Yes. Are we clear? Take a screenshot of this, everyone. Take a screenshot of this. Law of segregation. Clear? Very, very good. Okay. Here we have the law of segregation. Let me just go back. And let me just show you the law of dominance also. Everyone, here we have the law of dominance. Okay, Niku. Ma'am, what will be the phenotype of ratio of this cross? Phenotype of this will be 3 is to 1. Mono, bright, mono hybrid cross cut ratio will be 3 is to 1. And genotypic ratio will be 1 is to 2 is to 1. Okay. So everyone, we are done with this part, right? We are done with the law of segregation. Clear? And we are done with the law of dominance. Here everyone, right? This is the law of segregation. Everyone, are we clear? Are we clear? I hope now it's easy for you. Clear? Acha, if you want, I'll explain this in Hindi also. If you want, I'll explain this in Hindi. Raise your hand if you want to explain in Hindi. If not, we'll continue. Yes? Ha, bache. See, again, I, I'm sure, see, basic these things, right, that we are studying, the law of segregation, law of dominance, it's applicable in humans also. But you will be learning in your higher classes, we have lots of uh, exceptions. And it's not very simple because in us, we will not be able to have pure variety. Har bar mein pure variety nahi milega, right? So, of course, this is very common in all the organism. Agar hume genes ke baare mein padna, we can study in this particular way. Clear? We can do that. Chali. So, everyone, I am explaining in Hindi about the mono hybrid cross. Okay? Or we start from starting. So, the first law talks about the law of dominance. We have read that capital T. We use genetics mein use karte hai to tell about the dominating trait. And capital T is for domination. And we use small t in the recessive nature. Ko batane ke liye. Clear? Dominating trait, how do we express it? How do we write it? Capital T, capital T से जो recessive traits होते हैं उन्हें हम कैसे लिखते हैं small t, small t से तो Mendel ने क्या किया? Mendel ने बोला कि भाई मुझे पता करना क्या है तो उन्होंने क्या किया? उन्होंने 
प्योर वेराइटीज की प्लांट लिए उनका क्रॉस करा बार बार क्रॉस करा और उन्होंने जनरेशन देखी तो हम जो पहला क्रॉस देखते हैं वो ये देखते हैं कि मेंडल ने क्या किया एक टॉल प्लांट लिया उसका क्रॉस किया किसके साथ में एक छोटे ड्रॉफ प्लांट के साथ में राइट ड्रॉफ प्लांट के साथ में जब उन्होंने क्रॉस किया तो उन्होंने देखा कि जो नेक्स्ट जनरेशन थी उसमें क्या हुआ मिक्सिंग हुई और सभी प्लांट क्या हुए टॉल हुए ये सब क्या है दीज आर द गेमीज राइट गेमीज क्या हो गई गेमीज अलग अलग गए राइट और उन्होंने बनाया प्लांट जो टॉल था बट यहां पे उनका जेनेटिक मेकअप सेम नहीं है दे हैव कैपिटल टी एंड स्मॉल टी अगर स्मॉल टी और स्मॉल टी या फिर कैपिटल टी और कैपिटल टी साथ में है ऐसी कंडीशन जब दोनों एलील एक जैसे हैं उसे हम बोलते हैं होमोजाइगस व्हाट वी कॉल इट एज वी कॉल इट एज होमोजाइगस एंड इफ वी हैव कैपिटल टी एंड स्मॉल टी दैट इज हेटेरोजाइगस दैट इज हेटेरोजाइगस आर वी क्लियर दैट इज हेटेरोजाइगस तो उन्होंने देखा कि एफ वन जनरेशन में क्या देखा उन्होंने कि इन दी पेरेंट का जब क्रॉस हुआ था इन दी एफ वन जनरेशन उन्होंने देखा कि सभी टॉल हैं विद अ हेट्रोजाइगस कंडीशन राइट विद अ हेट्रोजाइगस कंडीशन अब उन्होंने इसी प्लांट का सेल्फिंग किया एफ वन जनरेशन की सेल्फिंग की एंड व्हाट ही गॉट ही गॉट कैपिटल टी एंड स्मॉल टी सॉरी कैपिटल टी एंड कैपिटल टी कैपिटल टी स्मॉल टी कैपिटल टी स्मॉल टी एंड स्मॉल टी स्मॉल टी इसको क्रॉस में अगर हम बनाएंगे तो इस तरीके से बनेगा फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू प्लीज प्रैक्टिस द क्रॉस कैपिटल टी कैपिटल टी कैपिटल टी स्मॉल टी कैपिटल टी स्मॉल टी एंड स्मॉल टी स्मॉल टी ठीक है क्लियर तो यहां पे हमें मिल गए चार जनरेशन नेक्स्ट में एफ टू जनरेशन में चार हमें मिले उसमें से वन इज प्योर टॉल टू आर हेट्रोजाइगस दो कैपिटल टी हैं और एक स्मॉल टी भी है उनके पास में एंड द थर्ड वन इज होमोजाइगस सो रेशियो क्या बना दिस इज जीरो टिपिक रेशियो जो एक्चुअली हमें बता रहा है कि कैसा जेनेटिक मेकअप है दैट इज वन इज टू टू इज टू वन अगर मैं आपसे पूछू कितने टॉल है यहां पर तो क्या बोलोगे How many of these are tall? यहां पर हाउ मेनी देम इन काउंट वन टू थ्री फोर चार में से कितने टॉल है वेरी गुड थ्री आर टॉल एंड वन इज ड्रॉफ सो दैट इज थ्री इज टू वन रेशो एंड दिस इज द फीनो टाइप दिस इज द फीनो टाइप सो आर वी क्लियर वॉट इज जीनो टाइप एंड वॉट इज फीनो टाइप एंड दिस क्रॉस वे वी टॉकिंग अबाउट वन पर्टिकुलर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स That is the height and we call it as mono hybrid cross. कोई भी cross जहां पर हम सिर्फ एक character के बारे में बात करेंगे we call it as a mono hybrid cross. It could be flower color, seed color, seed shape, seed color, etc. etc. Are we clear? This particular cross, mono hybrid cross, will be able to understand two laws: law of dominance and law of segregation. law of dominance says that during the gamete formation sorry during the cross the dominating trait will be able to express itself and recessive trait will not be able to express itself the law of segregation says that during the formation of gametes we will see that there is a separation gametes will separate out clear they will segregate are we clear are we clear are we clear everyone How is everyone in the chat? Everyone, are we clear? Okay, very, very good. So here, you can take a screenshot. You can take a screenshot of this. Chali. Okay. Now, everyone will be moving to the next. Which is very, 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 थोड़ा सा scary है, and that is a dihybrid cross. We have dihybrid means two alpha. Uh, we have di alpha means means two, right? So here we have two characteristic features. अच्छा, you tell me what you see over here. Screen पे you can see two things, right? Yes, we have two things over here. What you can see? First, of course, we can see a seed, right? We have seeds, right? we can see that this seed is round and this the color of the seed is yellow this seed is green in color right and of course this seed is wrinkled 
We can see, right? Wrinkle a little bit. Aise, aise hai. So, what are we doing in dihybrid cross? We're discussing about two characters. We have two characters in total, and hence we call it as dihybrid cross. Two characters are dihybrid cross. One character is monohybrid cross. So now we want to be discussing about dihybrid cross. Now what happens in dihybrid cross? We have the phenotype. What is the phenotype? Round and yellow, green and wrinkled. Round and yellow, green and wrinkled. Very good, very good. Right, so what we have over here? This is the genotype. So this is the phenotype. Now, we will see the formation of gametes. Achha, who will be writing the gametes over here? You will be getting the chapter PDF. Vishal Bachi, no Bachi, there is no shortcut method. See, of course, with the maths only, he actually got the answer for these, right? With the combination, with the ratio only, he, he was able to answer these questions. Very good, everyone. Very good. So, I can see... The gametes, of course, we know that we have gamete 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, how many gametes we have? 4. Barabar, right? We have 4 gametes. Genotype over here. So, we have the gametes and this is how we will be writing. Now, in, in these gametes, what will be the case if we are crossing... We will be able to have the F1 generation, which is capital R, small r, capital Y and small y. Easy? See over here. One, we came one from here and one from here. Yes? One from here and one from here. Done? Dono se barabar aayega. Ye mein pata hai. Ki ye bhi contribute karega aur ye bhi contribute karega. Ab dono gametes hamare paas mein same hai. So, we will have capital R and capital Y and small r and small y. Everyone, are we clear? Ab, if we have that, we will be able to see the F2 generation. F1 generation, when we got this, we will do the selfing, right? We have these gametes. And then now, everyone, we will make a punit square. We'll make a punit square. Yes, Cosmotalk, welcome. Meet Cody, please do leave the class. Chalye, if you want to leave the class, please do leave the class. Okay. Jaldi, 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 jaldi. Yes? Now, how many of you will be helping me in making this cross? Jaldi say. Raise your hand, everyone. Raise your hand. Chalye. So, what I'm saying, everyone, Hamare paas mein ek, ek seed hai, jo yellow hai, aur wo hai round. We have one seed which is green or which is wrinkled. Okay? Now, we have gametes. Banaya. So, we have capital R, small r, uh, capital R, uh, capital Y, small r, small y, small r, small y. Done? Now, what do we Of course, one will come here, one will come here. So, F1 generation, mein, what we have? Sorry. This is what? This is F1 generation. These are the parent and this is the F1 generation. Clear? Ab, now what we are doing? We have this. We are doing the selfing. What are we doing? We are doing the selfing. Clear? Can we do the selfing everyone? Jaldi say. What are the gametes now over here? Kya kya gametes milenge? Very good. See, we have just seen. What are the gametes we'll have? We'll have these gametes, right? See over here. Yehi milega na? Right? Everyone, please be with me. Now, please do this by yourself. Now, if we, this is the F1 generation. And now, if we talk about the gametes, we will have capital Y. See, capital R, capital Y. Very good. Capital R and small y. Very good. Then we will have small r and capital Y. And we will have small r and small y. Basically, we are having a different combination. Our paas mein char aise hai, right? So we will be able to get it in this particular way. 
डन सेल्फिंग मतलब अपने ही सेल्फ पॉलिनेशन बेसिकली प्लांट अपने जैसे ही प्लांट से रेप्लीकेट रिप्रोडक्शन कर रहा है क्लियर फोर गैमीट्स अब हम इन गैमीट्स को यहां से फोर है यहां से फोर है सो टोटल वी हैव एट गैमीट्स सो इफ आई हैव टू मेक अ स्क्वेयर बच्चों दिस इज वेरी क्रूशल एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वन टू थ्री ओके आई एम राइटिंग ओवर हेयर राइट एंड कैन जस्ट बी ओवर हेयर ऑल्सो राइट चलिए एवरी वन कैन बी स्टार्ट राइटिंग जल्दी से ओके वन मिनट One, two, three. One, two, three. So everyone, please let's make. Ha, huh, it's okay. Galat ho dena hai bataungi. We have a trick for it. Everyone, let's write R and R. Capital R, small R. Jaldi se likho. Capital R and capital Y. Jaldi everyone, write along with me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, we have this. Then we have. Capital R and small y. Capital R and small y. Then we have small r and capital y. Small r and capital y. We have small r and small y. Small r and small y. Everyone, are we done? Right? Jaldi se. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. See, we got the four gametes. Four. हमें पहले वाले से मिले. Four from here. The total we have eight gametes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now everyone, we will be doing the magic. Clear? Now we'll be doing the ma magic. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm, I'll just give you thirty seconds. Take your time. Clear? So we got the four combination, right? कहाँ से मिला ये four combination? Capital R, capital R, capital Y, capital Y. Small R, small Y, small Y, small Y. इनके gametes बने. And from there we got the this combination. और इनको अगर हमने ब्रेक कर दिया अलग अलग कॉम्बिनेशन में सो वी गॉट दिस दीज गेमीट्स ओके चलिए अब लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड एवरीवन टाइम फॉर द मैजिक आबरा का डाबरा एंड हियर वी हैव कैपिटल आर और इसको आप आप कंबाइन करो लेट्स पुट द क्रॉस कैपिटल आर एंड कैपिटल आर ये इसको साथ में क्रॉस करो सो वी हैव कैपिटल आर कैपिटल आर कैपिटल वाई कैपिटल वाई यस सो वी विल फिल दिस लाइन फर्स्ट एंड देन विल मूव अ then from this cross this what we'll have capital r capital r capital r y and small y then this is going with over here capital r small r capital y and capital y and again with the last one everyone capital r small r capital y and small y yes are we clear with this bachcho aise aise fill hoga na Yes or no? इसी तरीके से फेल होगा Now, can we do it for other? Capital R, capital R, Y with small y. Capital R, capital R, small y, small y. Capital R, small r. Capital Y and small y. Capital R, small r. Right? Small y, small y. बढ़िया Changing the pen color so that we uh, we have the clarity. See, I hope that all of you are following me and you are writing. Yes, I can see many of you saying, "Ma'am, हो गया हमारा बढ़िया." Right? We have small r, small y, capital Y, capital Y, small r, small r. We have capital Y and small y. Last but not the least, here we have capital R, small r, capital Y, small y. Capital R, small y, small y, small y. Very very um, small R, small y, or capital Y and cap small y. बहुत tricky है, it's a tongue twister. अच्छा, see this is the cross. Tada! Right, we have it. Right, everyone, are we clear? इतना correct है ना? अच्छा. Now let's do the other magic. I'll use a white color. Okay. अच्छा एवरी वन नाउ यू टेल मी हाउ मेनी ऑफ दीज हाउ मेनी ऑफ दीज राइट आर प्योर येलो कलर एंड राउंड सीड 
How many of these are round and yellow in color? Jaldi se batao. I can see nine. Can we count nine? See again, these nine are the dominating characteristic features, right? These are the dominating characteristic features. ये तो dominating करेंगे, dominating रहेंगे. तो ये हैं round भी हैं and they are yellow also. So let's see who here. First, capital R है और capital Y तो ये तो पक्का round है. येलो होगा सो वन दिस फिर यहां पे हमारे पास में कैपिटल आर कैपिटल आर वाई है तो ये स्मॉल वाई को डोमिनेट कर देगा सो दिस इज आल्सो द केस दिस इज आल्सो द केस दिस इज राइट दिस इज आल्सो द केस देन दिस इज आल्सो द वन वे वी हैव वन ओवर हियर वन ओवर हियर वन ओवर हियर सो 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 हाउ मेनी वी हैव 9 आर वी क्लियर Are we clear, right? Clear? Yes. Right. We have round and yellow. Are we clear, बच्चों? मुझे अगर किसी को doubt हो तो अभी मुझे पूछो कि यहाँ पे ऐसा क्यों है? Yes, ऐसा क्यों है यहाँ पे? क्योंकि हमारे पास में capital R जो है वो क्या है dominating है. तो जहाँ जहाँ पे we'll have capital R, वो तो round होगा. और where जहाँ पे हमें capital Y मिलेगा that will be yellow. So that is the reason we have nine. Nine seeds ऐसे हैं जो हमारे पास में round भी हैं और yellow भी हैं. Clear? Yes. Athar, explaining बच्चा भी. Give me one minute. Yes, Anand. नाम ले लिया आपका. Yes, Ala. I explain you again, बच्चे. Give me one minute. One minute, everyone. One minute. It's easy. अरे बहुत easy है. चलिए. So nine कैसे number आया मैं बता रही हूँ दोबारा से. नाइन नंबर इसलिए आया हमारे पास में कि जो हमारे पास में एफ टू जनरेशन में जो बने हैं प्लांट्स इसमें से नौ ऐसे हैं नाइन ऐसे हैं जिनके पास में कैपिटल आर है और कैपिटल वाई है कैपिटल आर इज डोमिनेटिंग ट्रेड फॉर राउंड सीड एंड कैपिटल वाई इज अ कलर फॉर येलो विच इज डोमिनेटिंग सो वी हैव हाउ मेनी सीड लाइक दिस नाइन अच्छा हाउ मेनी ऑफ दीज आर रिंकल्ड And yellow. How many of these are wrinkled and yellow in color? जल्दी से बताओ. How many of these are wrinkled? Wrinkled तो क्या होगा? Small y and small y. Yes, sorry. Ah, uh, small r and small r. Wrinkled का will have small r, small r, capital Y, capital Y. So इसको कैसे represent करेंगे? Small r, small r, capital Y, capital Y. This was capital R. और मतलब इट इट कुड बी द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ कैपिटल आर कैपिटल आर ये या फिर ये यस वेरी गुड वेरी गुड सो वी हैव थ्री एप्सल्यूटली कैन वी फाइंड देम कैन वी फाइंड देम विच आर रिंकल्ड जहां पे स्मॉल आर है सी वन दिस इज रिंकल्ड दिस इज आल्सो रिंकल्ड एंड दिस इज आल्सो रिंकल्ड थ्री अब हमारे पास में थ्री ऐसे हैं जो राउंड हैं एंड दे आर ग्रीन इन कलर दे विल बी अगेन थ्री दे विल बी अगेन थ्री एवरी वन राइट सी ओवर हेयर दे आर राउंड दे आर राउंड राइट एंड दे आर राउंड क्लियर यस लास्ट में वी हैव वन विच इज रिंकल And this is green. That is one. यहाँ पे हमारा यूनिक सा, प्यारा सा, जिस पे दोनों ही रेसिसिव हैं. Clear everyone? See? Ta 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 ta. Everyone, are we clear? Yes. चलिए, right? I'll explaining you once again. Don't worry. I'm explaining you once again. Let's do it once again. Saaf karte hain pura, right? Let's do it once again for all of you. Now, all of you, those who have doubts, please follow me. Jinko doubt hai, please do follow me. In this, what are we doing? We are discussing about dihybrid cross. What are we discussing? We are discussing dihybrid cross. Yes. So we have round seed, which has yellow color, and we have small green seed which is wrinkled this is what this is 
wrinkled and green color seed this is round color seed which is yellow in color itni yahan tak samajh mein aaya all of you are we clear up to here this is round and yellow and this is wrinkled and green yes clear chal now can we make the gametes right everyone can we make the gametes jaldi se tell me the gametes how we'll make the gametes we'll have this right capital r capital y capital r capital y yahan se from here we have two from here we'll have two small r small y small r and small y equal distribution hai na yes we have it over here ruhi bachche that's how we have been learning they using it why right chaliye clear ab now from here these are the parents what are these these are the parents in f1 generation what we will have we will have one from here that is capital y and small y sorry capital r and small capital y and one from here which is small r and small y are we clear everyone are you following me over here jin bachcho ko samajh mein nahi aaya tha pehle ye parent hai hamare paas mein this is dominating this is recessive right we have the gametes formation yahan pe gametes hai hamare paas mein f1 generation mein we have the combination of both the parents we have capital y and capital r and small r and small y to ye jo seed hame mila wo kaun sa mila it is round and it is yellow because dono hi dominating hai yes everyone we call it as f1 generation because of pehli generation hai parent ke baad mein jo jo generation aayi that's a f1 generation done 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 clear chali a <coughs> ah, ama y 2 r and 2 y instead of one of each 2 r and 2 y yahan pe char hai na bachche can you see this is how many alphabets we have how many alphabets we have 1 2 3 4 right that means that on a chromosome these two genes are present 1 2 1 2 yes that is the reason we have it over here chaliye ab are you ready to make the table again again how many will be making the table again from here everyone we will be able to get the gametes right now what we have we have capital r small r capital y and small y yes If we do the selfing, this is F1 generation. If we do the selfing, we'll be doing it with the same type, right? And then how many gametes we'll have? Small R, sorry, capital R, capital Y. Small R, capital Y. Capital Y, small Y, right over here. And what are the other combination we'll have? Yes, we have capital. Sorry, we'll have capital, and this is a small. Yes, done. Four combination. Yahan se char aaye. This is there for it, and from here also we'll have the same thing. Capital R, capital Y. Aise aise karke you can write. Yes or no? Are we clear? Yes, we can repeat the same thing over here. So after this. right let's make the punit square everyone i hope that you are there with me and now we are making the punit square four columns will be there 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 can we write now everyone capital r capital y write along with me capital r and capital y yes jaldi jaldi i know that those of you who have understood bank ko lagega ki mam dobara se repeat kar rahe ho let's do it very quickly chaliye then we have capital r and uh, small y then we have small r and capital y and we have small r and small y yes or no yes chaliye ha huh, it's you can actually they can ask you to make the dihybrid वैसे they don't they don't usually ask you to draw this in your examination probably they have it on the 
you know paper and they'll ask you to read it and understand few things they'll not ask you to make make as such okay chali now everyone jaldi jaldi se you can write over here it's not for me it's for you everyone now fill it here you can write in this way yes clear jaldi 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 se all of you after this whole cross everyone this is what you will get let me just go back not taking much of your time everyone see this is what we have and this is what we will get ma'am in the ncert the parental generation is round green and wrinkled yellow is it i'll check but it will not be the case <clears throat> it's round yellow and wrinkled green it's it's correct right it's correct only yeah round yellow and the wrinkled green okay ma'am in exam we need to watch i uh, just missed your comment just give me one minute divyanshu uh, in exam we need to watch this table or um, it's for just for understanding you can this is for uh, this is definitely for understanding right so that you can understand and uh, read the table and then of course you can answer the question which would be asked on the di hybrid cross but it's good to have a practice hai na jitna aap practice karoge you will be able to you will be able to do it in your examination to aapke answers kabhi galat nahi honge clear chaliye so everyone how many of these were round and yellow nine yes then of course we have three which are round and green three which are wrinkled and yellow and one which is one wrinkled and green the phenotypic ratio will be what 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 and from this everyone from this particular dihybrid cross we can conclude that the law of independent assortment we can clearly say that the alleles of the two or more genes will get sorted during the gamete formation independently of each other and the allele received from one gene does not influence an allele or received by the another gene in simple way everyone in simple way can i tell you kya bol raha hai gene kya bol raha hai law this law is very easy for example let's suppose you are there okay seema is here seema seema ki best friend hai neha राइट सीमा की बेस्ट फ्रेंड है नेहा और ऑफ कोर्स उनका एक और फ्रेंड है जिसका नाम है अनंत ठीक है चलिए क्लियर यहां पे हमारे पास में तीन फ्रेंड है सीमा नेहा और अनंत सीमा ने बोला उसको लेना है साइंस नेहा ने बोला उसे लेना है कॉमर्स और अनंत ने बोला उसे लेना है आर्ट्स ठीक है क्लास टेन तक सब साथ में पढ़ रहे थे हसी हसी खुशी सबका साथ में चल रहा है अच्छे से पढ़ाई चल रही है एंड एंड ऑफकोर्स ऑल ऑफ देम राइट आर इन क्लास टेंथ But from class tenth, right? From class tenth, अब क्या हो रहा है? Now they have to choose the stream, right? Now they have to choose the stream. So what what we can see over here? अब उन्हें फर्क नहीं पड़ रहा कि भैया कौन best friend है? Whatever they have to choose, they will separately choose. They will be moving in their own pathway, right? So in a similar way, the law of independent assortment. Independent means आजाद है. Assortment means अलग अलग जाएंगे clear? So what is happening in the law of independent assortment? It says that दो एलील जो है हमारी it's not कि वो हमेशा चुपकी चुपकी साथ में जाएंगी कि अगर कैपिटल आर है तो उसके साथ में हमेशा कैपिटल वाई है ऐसा कहीं पे भी नहीं चलेगा आ भी क्लियर दिस कैपिटल आर कैन डेफिनेटली कम विद स्मॉल वाई ऑल्सो ये जो हमारा स्मॉल आर है ये कैपिटल वाई के साथ में भी आ सकता है ये जो हमारा कैपिटल आर है ये कैपिटल वाई के साथ में भी आ सकता है सो वॉट इज अग ओवर हेयर जो एलील्स हैं दो एलील्स वो साथ में नहीं रहेंगी वो अलग अलग अपने अपने रास्ते जाएंगी यस क्लियर 
clear everyone those of you who have a doubt are we clear this is a law of independent assortment the allele of two or more gene ye jo hamare paas mein allele hain दो और मोर जीन की क्या होंगी इंडिपेंडेंट हो जाएंगी दे नॉट बी गोइंग टूगेदर आर वी क्लियर यस आर वी क्लियर यस सो ड्यूरिंग द गेमेट फॉर्मेशन ये ओके डेटा बाय बाय बोल देंगे भाई हम तो जा रहे हैं यस ओके चलिए सो विथ दिस एवरी वन वी कैन से दैट वी आर डन विद्री लॉस टेक अ स्क्रीन शॉट ऑफ दिस एवरी वन The law of independent assortment. Here we have. Take a screenshot. Take a screenshot. The allele of two or more genes get sorted into the gametes independent of each other. The allele received for the one gene does not influence the allele received for another gene. Simple. Yes. Clear. I can see majority of you uh, got it. Oh, I am really sorry. Uh, we will be repeating it again, but now we have to move ahead. Last topic is remaining. That is the sex uh, determination. So we will finish our class over there, right? I think majority of you are clear with this. See, my kids, I have explained many times to you many times. So what you can do, probably it could be that uh, you join the class a little bit late. What you can do? you can watch the session once again and then i'm 100% sure your doubts will be cleared okay chali let me ask you a question everyone the visible characteristics in an organism is known as what the visible characteristic that is visible visible jo dikh raha hai hame in the organism is what prototype genotype stereotype or pheno phenotype kaun sa character dikhta hai kaun sa character is visible visible we are not talking about genetic makeup we are talking about the visible characteristic feature in an organism absolutely correct the phenotype option number d is the correct answer everyone option number d is the correct answer chaliye with this everyone we are moving to the last topic that is the sex determination ye jitne bhi hamare paas mein traits hai na right ye gene ke dwara banaye jate hain aur ye chromosome mein hote hain हमारा जो सेक्स इज वन ऑफ दी ट्रेट सो ऑफकोर्स वी हैव ट्वेंटी थ्री पेयर ऑफ क्रोमोजोम राइट वी हैव ट्वेंटी थ्री पेयर ऑफ क्रोमोजोम राइट ट्वेंटी थ्री पेयर में से ट्वेंटी टू आर दी ट्वेंटी टू आर दी ऑटोजोम्स यस ट्वेंटी टू आर दी ऑटोजोम सब में प्रेजेंट है यस एंड देर बी ऑल सेम यस फ्रॉम दी सी वी हेर वन फ्रॉम मदर वन फ्रॉम फादर वील हैव दिस कॉम्बिनेशन the one gene that determines the gender that's called as a sex chromosome right these are the autosomes and one pair the last pair that actually help us in determining the gender on the sex of the fetus of the baby is the sex chromosome x and x is for the female and x and y is for the male everyone are we clear we call it we call them as sex chromosome all the allosome we know that male will have x and y chromosome along with 44 other chromosomes female will have x and x chromosome and 44 other chromosomes yes easy right in the male everyone the sperm can have either x or can y right they can either have the x chromosome or the y chromosome so in the sperm head the chromosomes are present so either it could be x chromosome or it could be y chromosome so here everyone we have a case study you tell me the answer now right here we have okay probably i'll give you the i gave you the hint over here we have a uh, male may sperm sperm has x chromosome and the female has x chromosome the offspring will be what the offspring will be what Kalpana, you're talking the opposite. X and X means girl, and X Y means boy. The number of basically the sex chromosome that they have. Very good. So we hear everyone the X from the sperm, right? This particular X chromosome is present in the sperm, and this X chromosome is present in the egg. So when the X and X combine, we'll have a female or a girl child. In a case two, if we have a chromosome 
right? So if we have the sperm which have Y chromosome, we will have X and Y combination and we will have the boy. Are we clear? Yes, autosomes and the allosomes. Autosomes means, right, autosomes means all the chromosome except the sex chromosome are called as the autosomes. 22 pair of chromosome that give us a character of our height, skin color, hair color, eye color, etc, etc. All of that, right, which is there in our all individual. Kidney, kaise ban hai, we, how we'll have the stomach working, enzymes, everything, the information is there. Clear? That we have autosomes. One is the sex chromosome that will be helping us to determine our gender, right? That is the allosomes or sex chromosome. Chali. Okay. So everyone, you can write this, take a screenshot of this everyone, that it is a chromosome from the father which, de which determine the gender of the baby, right? Which determine the sex of the newborn. It's not the female in our society. We blame the female for the gender, but it's not the case, right? It's a male who is deciding the gender or the sex of the baby. Clear that this is very, very important. We have the sex determination, not in the humans, but of course in the animals also, but that is completely based upon the temperature. So if you talk about the snail, they can change their sex from male to female during their lifespan. If they feel that there's a shortage, like if we have less female, they should move it, right? They will be able to do it. They will be able to change the gender based upon during their lifespan. In the reptiles, the gender is purely based on the temperature, right? On what temperature the eggs are being, right? The eggs are being in incubated. Clear everyone? Yes? So over here, the temperature is the governing factor. In reptiles like crocodile and in the case of uh, tortoise also, right? Turtles. Clear? Everyone, are we clear? Which chromosome snail will have? The normal chromosomes that you and I have. But the chromosomes, of course, different. Honge, but of course, uh, chromosomes are present in the cells, right? You're talking about which chromosome? Definitely, they will have the chromosomes, right? Lizards are okay. I'm not afraid of the lizards. We will have the numerical session everyone tomorrow. I think we have a class. So please make sure, please make sure you come to tomorrow's class. Chalye, everyone here we have the homework question. Now I'm leaving you with this very interesting homework question I would say. I think we don't have, oops, I give you the answer. Everyone, the, take this as a homework question. I, yeah, it's my fault. Right? So tomorrow everyone will be having a session. Right? Ashwara ma'am will be coming and will be discussing the question. So please make sure. Right? Uh, yeah, I'm really sorry for leaking the answer. So let's discuss this question now. Right? So now we'll discuss this question. I'll give you one more homework question. Okay. Here everyone. Let's solve this question everyone. Chalo, let's solve this question. See such type of questions will be coming in your examination. So what we know, the scientists did a cross and they had F1 generation of pure breed parents, round and wrinkle seeds. Right? So we have a pure breed parents, round and wrinkle seed. Dominating trait is what? Round seeds. Recessive trait is what? Wrinkled seed. Number of F2 generation? 7224. Yes? Clear? Okay? Hello, hello. Hi, intelligent boy. Seema, bache, I think I have seen your chat, bache. I understand that there are few doubts you have. I'm really sorry. I think you have joined the session a little bit late. Please do watch the session. Right? I'm sure you'll be able to answer. You will be able to understand by yourself. Yes, tomorrow at 7 p.m. Ibrahim, please don't spam now. Chali, everyone. I'm good. How are you? Okay. Chali, chali, jaldi, jaldi, jaldi. Right? So, you have to find the answer. See, I will leave this. Even if you have seen the answer, I want you to calculate this and tell me. Very simple maths we have. Bahut simple maths. Right? So, it's a homework question. It is a homework question. Okay? Chali. 
So everyone, please do find the answer for this question. Right? Chali. Take a screenshot of this everyone, the, all the laws. All the important laws. Thank you so much everyone, you have my hearts. You literally have my hearts because you are there with me since such a long time. Yes. It's okay. Thank you, Vijeta, for your acknowledgement. If you don't say it, then I don't know what I'm going to do. Right? Sweets. We'll get sweets. Everyone, Kaju Katli. Diwali, I'm sure you'll have a lot of food. Yes, Kaju Katli. Bundi ke laddu, yes, yes, yes. Bundi ke laddu are nice. Yes, team seven. Seema bache. Ma'am, mera doubt pehle clear nahi hua tha. Bata hiya ab chab. Yes, chalo. I'll wait. See everyone, the class is over. If you want to leave the class, you can leave. I'm here for five, ten minutes to take up some doubts. Ma'am, to bohaat midhaiya khai hai. I'm telling you. I have, yeah, Ari, you saw me, I'm eating, I ate five rasgulla that day, along with Saurav sir. So I have eaten a lot of mithai. I've eaten Mysore Park, then of course, Boondi ke laddu, ghar ke aate ke bane hoi laddu, then I have rasgulla, gulab jamun, kaju katli, so of course, matlab, hai hi wo to. And uh, I, I'm not sure, um, in Jaipur now, so I, I went to my parents place in Jaipur and of course there is a shop over there where they sell uh, Boondi ke laddu, basically Doodh ke laddu. Bhagat ji ke laddu they usually say and that's amazing. If you have ever gotten a chance or if you are there in Jaipur, please do try them. Amazing. Okay, now I'll take up some doubts, difference between trait and character. But character, Manu, character could be the height. But what is a height? Is it tall? Is it short? That is a trait. Clear? In an easy example, I have given uh, you the answer. Manu, I have answered your question. Parcel karti hoon. Uh, ani, uh, Ashish, bache bhi ko information nahi hai. Seema, you wanted to explain dominating and recessive trait. Dominating gene kaun se honge bache jo apne aapko express karenge, right? They will be able to express themselves. Recessive genes wo hai jo express nahi kar paayenge. Right? Manu, I have answered your question. Seema, I have answered your question. Are, achha, you are sensitive to the sweets. Okay, it's me too. It's okay, Vijita Bachche, it's okay. You don't have to say sorry. Allele. So the alternative form of the gene, in a simple word, the alternative form of the gene is called as allele. Yes, Ruhi. Amana. Asan chapter, bilkul. Independent assortment. Independent assortment is a third law of the law of inheritance. It tells that during the cross, right, what will happen? The allele will get separated, right? And during the formation of the gametes, the allele will get separated. And it's not that they will be coming together. Simple words. Right? Allele exists in the same way. They will easily independently express your own. Khushi and no radio point, but will definitely will have more of history session. This week we have. Okay. Akshaya, there, are, there could be other alleles also. Allele ka graph, if you remember the definition, we have more. Two or more variation. Skin color mein bohat sare variations hote hain. Okay. Ashish, we have the channel of the uh, Akash Baiju's J. Please go there, it will be helpful for you. Bache, uh, Vijeta inherited. Inherited means kuch mil raha hai. Inheritance, right? You transfer ho raha hai. From generation to the next generation. Important question from this particular chapter, they can ask you on the different laws. Sex determination is also a very important question. Supriya. Supriya, we have the Akash Baiju's channel. Ab wo need ka channel, wo dekh lije. Important, jo bhi foundation ho, such as a base bana ke rakhye. Start forming the foundation and you will be able to excel. Chali everyone. So I think, I think we should end the class. It's almost 10.40 now. So everyone, thank you so much for being there with me till the end. Lots of love to each one of you, everyone. Lots of love to each one of you. 
Thank you for being there with us till the end. Everyone, please do watch this video once again. Right? Nay, nay, office a live lady. Garza nay. Yes. Supriya, so, ma'am, no doubt what Jean, explain Jean once in short. Jean, bache, wo hai jo hume character deta hai. Jo Jean, DNA mein na bohat sare, bohat, bohat bada hai DNA. Right? So, DNA ka ek chota sa part. हमें कोई भी कैरेक्टर देगा फॉर एग्जांपल अगर हम बालों के कलर की बात करें सो so जो स्मॉल फ्रैगमेंट ऑफ डीएनए जो हमें बालों को कैरेक्टर दे रहा है उसे हम बोलेंगे जी क्लियर क्लियर एक्वायर ट्रेट एंड इनहेरिटेंट ट्रेट्स हां दिस इज समथिंग दैट आई थिंक वी शुड डिस्कस ए बाद में था अभी मिसिंग है एक्वायर ट्रेट्स हम एक्वायर करते हैं ड्यूरिंग आवर लाइफ टाइम एंड इनहेरिटेड ट्रेट्स हमें मिलते हैं हमारे पेरेंट्स से जीन अ सेगमेंट ऑफ डीएनए यस सुप्रिया यू आर एब्सोल्युटली करेक्ट चलिए ओके एवरीवन यस विजेता गुड नाइट एवरीवन गुड नाइट विजेता टीम सेवन गाय सुप्रिया अक्षया मैम इनसाइड डीएनए इनसाइड जीन और जीन इनसाइड एली इनसाइड नहीं बोलेंगे पार्ट बोल सकते हैं बेसिकली राइट गुड नाइट एवरीवन बाय गुड नाइट कॉस्मोटॉक गुड नाइट अमाना विजेता Sham Kripa, Neha, Cosmo Talk, Manu. Good night, everyone. I'll be meeting you really very soon. Please do take care of yourself and keep on learning with Baijus. Lots of love, everyone. Bye bye. Good night.